I know everything that I got. <laughs> <laughs> I got everything in there. <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? Eddie, you're ready. You go by Eddie, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Making sure some cats come in here and be like, y'all call me J Dog. Sharp BR always made regular pens? Uh, yeah, I think so. I only buy the finest. All right. They got fries. Well, if you if you <laughs> bought the finest, fries? you would have <laughs> the T U L. That pen is the smoothest writing pen I've ever seen. No, in it's life. not. Yes, the smoothest it writing pen, Mont Blanc. All right. Fam, yes, I told you, you about that. I was, I was, <laughs> we ain't talking about two hundred fifty dollars. Right, that's, oh, that's yeah. a different kind of pen. Yeah, that's yeah. Like a different level. I remember we, we, I was talking about some some staples type shit. You <laughs> just go to any store and buy. Yeah, I'm a I was in right Vegas. Now, I was fact. in Vegas with a girlfriend at the time, and I remember I was just trying to show off, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a pen." I went inside Mont Blanc, see how much them pens were. I was like, <laughs> "Yo, oh, yeah, you smoke." Walked right on out. I, I like, These I like roller balls, the the gel pins. That's what I like. <laughs> those to pins use. are fire. Every How much are I, they? Every, I don't know. I'm about to look it up. Every time I go to the chiropractor, I saw you. They have that <laughs> pin to sign your bill. <laughs> Fam, that's probably that gonna be like is twenty dollars. Legendary. So twenty dollars pack is all right with me. As long as it come with two. All right. And if it's that good, legendary. All right. So legendary. All right. Let's go use a legend so loose. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Way more legendary than Bow Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's smoking. <laughs> Don did an entire story about it, too. Don is a wacko. All right. All right, you ready? Yo, stick this podcast. Episode 250. George, Greg, back in the building. Special guest, the homie Eddie. What's up, y'all? What's up? <laughs> Very white. <laughs> My man got the deep voice for y'all, man. I appreciate you coming through. Yeah, for sure. Hey, man, hit me up. Like I said, you local to Arizona? You want to come talk sneakers and see how crazy we are? Pull up, man. Like, ain't nobody tripping? Everybody think that this show is so serious sometimes. I'm like, man, look, you down the street? Pull up, man. As long as you want to talk and participate, that's all we care about, man. Uh, we're doing... Oh, appreciate everybody who likes, subscribe, share this podcast, comments, send me stuff. I mean, I got the most DMs and messages this week about <laughs> everything from Kai situation with other men to Gap Yeezy jackets to LeBron 19s, everything, all right? So like I said, I appreciate everybody who sends me that stuff. You know, like it's easy to do a po Oh, this is episode 250. So shout out to Eddie for being on 250. I mean... I would have thought about doing something special for 250, but I forgot. Like, today was my first day at work. Mm -hmm. Somebody had DM yesterday, like, yo, for 250, y'all should do this. I was like, 250? I was like, ah, shoot. <laughs> but I've been so worried about And it's, this is why I'm dressed up, because I came from work today, and it's my first day back in the office in a year and a half, and I forgot my shirt for the podcast. I was so focused on having the cameras and, and paper and, and pen and, and making sure we know what we're talking about and all that, I forgot a shirt. So yes, I am sitting here dressed up in the finest linens and a necktie. So <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. You the see that. Finest don't do linens. that. You see that. Look at that. <laughs> see, that's how you know your dress shirt is good is when your, it go right Perfectly, all right. When your sleeve better cover your hand, you gotta take it back. I'm sure you can go get the one that comes with the tie and have it meet your. Uh, no, wrist. you can't. Yes, you can. If your dress shirt come with a tie pre-tied on it, no, you can't. I bet you they have those that will fit just like those that. shirts come in small, medium, large. This comes in a 16 and a half. <laughs> by That's 30. not how you can tell if something's a good shirt or not. I'm just telling you. I used to Every buy them shirts. Dress shirt, you, they got shirts at Wal uh, um, uh, Costco that get come in those sizes like that. Oh, uh, Costco. <laughs> they yes. Man, I bought them there. Before. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. All right. Uh, when you go get fitted at the place for your shirts, that's when you know you have a good shirt. Oh, I do. You go to Carolina Herrera, the sleeves come in 34. So every shirt, no matter the size, comes in a 34 sleeve. You got to get them tailored. I don't like doing tailored shirts because it's way too expensive to tailor a dress shirt. It might be almost just as expensive to tailor a dress shirt than it is a, a suit jacket. And that's facts. So even if they cut the back of the jacket and flip the roll. Anyways, going off on a tangent. But 250 episode, eh, you know, wow. like I said, I wish I would have done something special for it, but look, we came and recorded today. I haven't been in the office in a year and a half, so I'm a little discombobulated. Felt like I was in a third world country being at work. I haven't been to work one time all right, since we've been there. And you didn't even come to my office and say, welcome back. Messed up. Why man. would I come say welcome back? Because you've been to work. I, I think your it. door, I only walked do the thing three times like in the morning when I came in Jack was in there and then like twice more like I went to the bathroom and I went to the uh, cutter thing and the door was closed every single time I walked by we might be the only people who still use that cutter thing 
like teachers that that big knife that they still got those you know yeah what I use well, we got one at work uh, shipping sports cards <laughs> cut them boxes up <laughs> they're serious i cut usps boxes up and use the cardboard as the like the thing to hold the card in the middle so you'd be actually making fortresses and Yes uh, We're doing Build a club out Which I thought this was a really good idea You know we always have people Appreciate everybody who still listens to 1299 I'm pretty oh, sure that is it right there It's on sale okay. It comes with two refills So really it's like Three pins for 1259 That's not bad yeah. Order me one yeah, So right. uh, Fine but, uh, writing solid metal barrel ballpoint pin Dang that's the Off white of pins <laughs> Um but like I said, we're doing, and this was a really good top ten. Oh, People have God. sent top tens, and you know, some of them we've done already. Actually, a lot of them we've done already, and we've I've talked about like well, we're gonna have to redo some of them since it's been so long. But the homie, I'm gonna read off all his social media names because he was like, "Yo, I got different social media names everywhere." On social on IG, it's at Southern Player. On YouTube, it's at Paychecks with two X's, and on Twitter, it's the Real Poncho Six Twelve on Twitter. He said he has all those alias because of Wu Tang, but he suggested we do top ten sneakers. Our opinions changed when we saw them in hand or in person to us. Now he's the one that made the suggestion of doing five good, five bad to me. So you had already did it. Yeah. So I have five sneakers that I I thought sucked, and then I saw them in person. I was like, ooh, that changed my opinion to good, and then I got. Some that I saw the pictures and thought fire, and then saw my person. I was like, "Oh, these suck." Changes to bad. Yeah. Okay, is that what you did? Yeah. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah. So, so I didn't rank mine though. I didn't do like one, two, ten because I just did five good, five bad. Yeah. That's I, didn't, I, I didn't rank mine. Okay. Either. I like, and like you could literally probably go through each year and do this. You know what I mean? But, oh yeah, for sure. But uh, so shout out to him for us uh, making that suggestion to us. George, pick up. Actually, no, the guest. Any pickups lately? Anything new lately? That don't have to be last week or this week. Just anything lately. Lately. Um, first time guest, too. We haven't heard a first time guest on a, since Yuri. So that was about October. So um, I got those Michigan dunks that dropped Ooh, okay. last week. Okay. How'd you get them on? Uh, finish line. Okay. Dang, really? Finish yeah. line gets dunks? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Uh-huh. I haven't logged on to finish line in general. In so you did year, like the, what, the app? Oh, they got raffle? they had a raffle for them. Yeah. Oh, like actually go to the store? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I didn't know they still did that stuff. Anymore. Finish line stores get dunks. Yeah. Which finish line did you go to? <laughs> uh, Desert Scott Mall. <laughs> what? That's like- I, well, I'm, I'm cool with the manager, and she told me they was get, they got the, uh, the green teams and the Michigan joints there, and I was like, what? Is that their first ever dunks they've gotten? Or no, have they got, they've no, gotten other ones? They've gotten a lot of other ones. We're going to have to go yeah. outside. Uh, we're going to have to make some phone calls again. I've been feeling like places like that, once I they refuse. had all, once all stores had got apps, it was like, if you went on the app, you select your store. Remember that? Was it that finish line? What? Well, like well you, it still is like that. They have it, they yeah, get, for Jordan's um, stuff. But they get restocks. And when they get restocks, they do, like, actual in-store, like, raffles for the restocks. Really? Yeah. Dang, man. I'm going to have to start calling places, Yeah, I didn't man. know that either until she told me. And I'm just like, well, shit, I guess I need to. Yeah. I need to come in here and check it out more. Is that the, restocks. so, like, that the only store that gets them? Like, Foot Action in there doesn't get them, or? I don't know about Foot Oh, okay. I mean, Foot Lockers, I don't think Foot Locker, Foot Locker gets them too, right? But only on the app, right? Yeah, yeah if they, they have they stuff the in store oh, and okay. like hype stuff, they do it on their app, man. It's you, you like them? Anymore, keeping them? So. Yeah, I think I'm going to hang on to oh, these. Okay. Yeah, they cool. Yeah, those ones, the the Michigan and the Michigan State ones, I really, really wanted. I didn't get either, either one of them, so that is what it is. I don't know how much they're going for a resale. What are they going for right now? I don't think it's that it's, high. Uh, like 200 maybe, yeah. yeah I mean, it's still it's double, not, but... It's not anything Oh, crazy. 200? Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah it's double, not like it still, was like, when they was dropping before. They were going for like five, and it's yeah. just like, yeah, nah, I'm not paying five. Oh, right, okay. For no dunks. I might have to like trade some for something like... I might have to go to Rerun one day. Rerun gets everything out there in Mesa. Like, I might have to see what's up with them cats. Um, well, you was there. Y'all was there, right? What was that? I did a sneaker talk. Um, it was at Rerun, right? At the store? Did y'all record there? I think it I think it was rerun. Yeah, yeah, it was rerun, I think. The um Yeah, they had like mad dunks in there. Yeah, yeah, they got everything. Uh, he gets everything in dunks, that store. Dunks and Jordan ones, man. They had them all in there. Hey, I was, was like, like, man, I'm about to go up there and take some stuff in there and see what I could trade. So I could try to grab some of them dunks. Grab anything else lately? Um The Grinches. I got them earlier this year. I got the Grinches. Mm, you got them for retail? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's always good. You warm yet? 
No, oh, not okay. yet. <laughs> but they they but they they gonna see the ground though. I'm not gonna sit on those. I'm actually gonna wear them. You actually what you wearing that big stage Kobe's? Yeah, big stage fives. Hey, I'm joints. Fire. I, I missed the uh, a, undefeated a, thing today, but like one minute. Appreciate it. Did you did you do that? Was it undefeated raffle today? Nah. For the Kobe? Nah. Six, I think. Kobe six. They got an undefeated. Del Sol or, oh, or the, the opposite Del Sol. Del Sol. Yeah. Oh, talking about the uh, that white, yellow, and yeah, black. Yeah. I thought they already dropped. I thought they came out undefeated. Uh, did their raffle today? I think it comes out this weekend on sneak. Oh well, you know, it's, it's Tuesday, but sneakers on like Saturday or whatever. I think. Oh, see, it's oh, not even on okay. sneakers app yet. So. I say, I thought what? they I not even thought on they came out yet. last week. Really? I thought yeah. they came out on like the third or something like that. I think nah. they came out overseas. Like I think a few like overseas spots had like dropped them or whatever. I Are you sure get, about like, that? Well, it was on the sneakers app and it's supposed to come out. I think it was like the second or third. Yeah. See. Oh shoot. Well, let me go ahead and take a look in here. So you making stuff up? Oh, I want these blue ambushes though. They high, but I want them no, joints. You don't. Uh, fam, them pink ones I saw them in person. Them joints are fire. No, you don't. All right. I like the black and white ones. Uh, those were pretty cool. Yeah, them was tight too. I like them. George, oh, anything else? You grab anything else? Uh, what else did I get? Uh, I think that's the only significant ones. I ain't really been, you know, everything is crazy now. It's right. just like everything sells out like crazy. <laughs> it's like you can't get nothing. Nah, you can't. You don't buy resale ever? Um, I mean, I will if I have to. Like, uh, absolutely. If it's right. something that I can't live without, then okay. But it, it also depends on how much the resale is. Yeah, it depends. George, what you got? Uh, three pickups. Ooh. Michigan Dunk. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where you get Michigan Dunk from? Sneakers. You did? Yeah, I sent you a screenshot. Oh. Maybe I, I mean, forgot. you don't read text no more. I, I guess, forgot. So. Uh. <laughs> I do. Y'all be sometimes be rapid fire. Actually, you commented on it. What are you talking about? You oh. said you get everything or you commented oh, okay. on something. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. That was Saturday. That was a long time ago. All right. Those and what's the shoe you brought in last week? Uh, Undefeated. I mean, um, Fragments. Fragment Dunk. Got that. And yeah. kiss uh, early access or whatever, friends and family program. What do they call it? Nine nine Genesis. And I sold them the joints way too early. Did you like them when you got my hand? They're not here yet. They don't come till Thursday. Oh, you already got rid of them. Yeah, because That's I didn't want. I mean, I bought a size real. ten. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. oh, you got me a size ten? Well, because you when you sold yours last time, it was like a hundred dollars higher than oh, the one okay. I got. So I was like, I'm just gonna get a ten. I got the early access to those, but I don't really Fam, care for they, that model. They sent me early access. You like that model though. It was all right. Huh. They sent, they no the one like the one I like more is the one that we got last time that sucked because it was like gift filter. Oh yeah 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 whatever model that was nine nine one. This one is V three. That one was V two. Oh, okay, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but this is a nine nine ninety. The other one was a nine nine one V two. Oh, it wasn't oh, okay. No nine ninety. Um, but I think they went up like fifty dollars after I sold, which is weird because once people start getting them in hand, that's normally when prices go down. But they sent me early access to both email addresses, and I was like, nah, I'm not going to cop a second one just in case I can't resell it. And then on release morning, I woke up, like, super late, and they still had, like, size 9, yeah. eight, eight and a half, was 13. A pairs, there was a lot of ones that were sold out, but they still had, like, and when I looked on sneakers, 9 was higher than mine. I'm like, man, it's not even sold out yet. How are people paying 300 for this? It's still on the website. <laughs> Did you try to add them to cart or anything? Nah, because oh, I, I didn't realize it was... See when I saw the one point, city, like when I looked, I didn't realize it was. Yeah, that's why I was like, well, I must, I might be stuck with this pair then. See, I saw them when they're sitting, and I was like, yeah, hey, it might just be an error on this thing. But then I saw Maybe. people on uh, Twitter and everything, like, yo, them joints still sitting. And I was like, shoot. And once I saw that, I was like, thank goodness I didn't buy them because I wanted to buy them to see them, kind of. But I really don't care for that model. It's but I like, did. I it's did. Not like Nike, fam. Yeah, I did <laughs> sell them other ones, so I kind of high. So I was like, oh, well, maybe I should get it, but. The oh. nine nine and a half is higher than the one that I had. Like mm. I think it was like three hundred. The one that I had, I sold it for like two forty. I mean, I made like fifteen bucks, which I I wasn't worried about making money. I just want to get rid of it because I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and then today when I looked, it was like two eighty five. I was like, how did it go up? What was retail on it? One eighty. Two seventy. It oh, came to like seventy. It came like well, Kith now for some reason charges tax to Arizona. I don't understand that. Got no store coming. Most of the, I mean, <laughs> unless it's a new federal tax law or something we don't know about, most stores don't charge tax. They uh, might charge shipping. So, yeah, with Kith, like, undefeated, you have to pay tax because there's an undefeated here. Yeah. But, like, I was like, and it was the second shoe, too, because we had to pay tax on the other New Balance. I was like, why am I paying tax to Kith? But tax makes it, like, $15 more. Right. So. You didn't get an email from Concepts? 
Oh. About something you asked him about? Them Samuel. Jim Salmon, Joe Light, Three Things, The Early Access, Pre-Order. You didn't oh, get one? Oh, I thought you meant an email uh, because nah. you asked for something. Nah, he don't respond to me. Oh. <laughs> He's a hater. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I got, well, I didn't get him, but I got that email. I just got the pair for Andy or whatever. I asked if anybody wanted it, but I got him at 11, so everybody got the email. And I had one of them, like when the picks first came out, that Salmon, Joe Light. It's like salmon, but I think they call it something else. Like, I don't know. It's a color of seafood, but it's another name for it. Uh, I wanted it when the picks first came out, but Gel Light 3s, if they're not a dark color, like gray or black or navy or something like that, I can't really rock with them that much. And them joints remind me of, like, other colorways they've done before, like strawberry and cream or cream and strawberry, whatever them joints are called. So I was like, nah, I'm good. But uh, I saw a few people rocking them already, like Mosh had already got a pair. Them joints look fire on feet. So, I don't know. But I, I copped some hats. And of I course you did. It. I think that's all I copped. You know, I copped a hat off Hat Club. I haven't bought a hat off Hat Club in months. Like, like during a hyper Like a drop. Yeah, I'd never, I haven't even tried lately or I couldn't be, I wasn't able to. So. Carl was angry at you then. I was like, oh, I'll go in here and cop. I don't even remember what team I copped. I didn't cop the Dodgers one. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Let me go see. <laughs> Maybe it was like Phillies or somebody. I don't no, remember. No wonder you checked out. Just Didn't like, know uh, what team he got. It was a it was a team that like I uh, I wanted. I went for like a specific team. So let me see. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. I did pick up those Yeezys to drop too. Those the the Alien Blue three eighties. Oh, you keeping those? I, I did get those. Are you keeping them? Um, them joints fire, man. I like them. I, I like I them like a them. lot. Man. I'm, they're still they were they set for like a week. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, see, I can't remember them sitting. They were in finish line, sitting for a week. Oh, I got Texas Rangers. Oh, they were in the store sitting? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Because I had no intention yeah, of, you know, because they come out, you know, online, and you're like, I'm not about to go uh, get up and buy these joints. I Are walked you? in the finish line, you know, when she told me about the raffle for those dunks, and they were just sitting there, and I was like, well, what is this? This she finish was like, line might be the greatest finish line ever. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Right." laughs> well, I mean, she <laughs> said he has a plug. So. Well, no, they were sitting out there for anyone to see, and I was just like, what is this? And she was like, oh, yeah, they came out today, but I forgot to, like, tell people, so, and you know, they're here. What shoe was it? <laughs> the Alien Blue 380. Easy. Oh, <laughs> so I, I was just like, well, they're just sitting. How is finish line getting that? They always have. They always get that Yeezys. specific store. Yeah, because I don't remember that them online getting different. none of that, that stuff. That finish line has been getting Yeezys for a while. Yeah, they must have the greatest like contract. That, they get they get more pairs of shoes than any other finish line in the. How world. could that finish yeah. line be they getting that in that mall? Contract because ever. I'm pretty confident the finish line and like Arrowhead and all them aren't getting. Well, Unless they are now, they can't. Nah, those those like the Arrowhead store is weak. They don't be getting nothing in there. It's a small store. It's like the one in, in Desert Sky is kind of big, you know. So it's no, like no, they, that one in Desert Sky is pretty big. It's they, a big they get, store. They get a lot of stuff there. Dang, I used to go to that Desert Sky finish line and and used to buy like a lot of stuff that no one else did have, like a lot of Reeboks and stuff that for some odd reason they would get, but nobody else would get. Shout out to them, man. I'm a, now. Well, you didn't told us now. <laughs> I'm about to be in there. I might be camp out. <laughs> George, what come out this week, fam? <laughs> yes, camp. what come out? Be what we copping. Camp out of the finish line. Uh, let's I'm, see here. Conquerors came out at that mall. It was mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> the dunk that came out today, free ninety nine. That came out this morning. Ain't Lost. Nice try for it. I didn't even try. Uh, People in my office talking all day. L City. I mean, even I mean, I'm, even when I'm woke, came out at a seven. What time? Even when I'm at? woke, I can't even <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> so I didn't even try for it. Uh, GS Kids, uh, Tiffany Dunklow. I don't know why they call it Tiffany, but it has a blue swoosh. Tiffany blue swoosh. Hey, oh, man, it's it's right. called Tiffany. I don't know why the free ninety nine ain't just the kids. It's a. Uh, like, it looked like a kid shoe. Yeah, it looks like sure. a kid shoe. But it yeah. does, but I still will wear it. I mean, it has a gum bottom what? and a white midsole. I will wear it. Wait, you talking about the Tiffany one, right? No, the that, one that free ninety nine. Yeah, I would wear I it. This whack. I mean, it has a gum outsole and a no, white midsole. You. I'm surprised you'd wear that. It got like you typically around two, I mean, two, fam, two to three like colors. A, That's about e six. It, uh, it's like a uh, <laughs> it's a Easter shoe with a white midsole and a gum outsole. That's what, what's bad about that? I don't. Care I mean, I, I wouldn't. Say I'm not paying so resale shoe, for it, but I'm I, I'm good. I, about I would wear it. Fifteen other dunks ahead of it. I mean, that's fine. I'm not arguing with that. Uh, women's dunk is coming out too. Th these pictures actually look pretty bad. If you look on Just sneakers off. app, they look better. They look like candy, like metallic or something. I mean, well, that might be the point. That looks whack. Yeah. And I don't want those. Not, not with that. I don't think so. Uh -huh. 
I mean, if she does, she hasn't said anything. I'm still going to try to buy it because I'm sure it has resale value. But Look at you. This, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this says the Inflam Amber Yeezy 700 is coming out. I don't know if that's here or overseas or what, but this could that's be wrong. That, that tan joint with yeah. the orange, orange sole. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. So this says that's coming but out. But I don't think it's coming out here yet because it's not on confirmed or nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I saw like that human race hit confirmed. What's today? today? The 7th? Eighth, yeah. seven. It has to be overseas. Eighth? So this says the eleventh. So that's three days away. So that's Friday, I guess. Yeah, it come out on overseas. Uh, the Kobe six uh, white Del Sol. It looked fire. The, like the black pair better. Yeah, that was the first four. I was like the first of the low Kobe line I ever got. The Del Sol low black Kobe I four. Still have mine. Yeah, I still have them. They're a little beat because I actually used to hoop in them, but. Oh, I had two pairs. I had They're one a little for, bit too small now. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> I wish I would have bought more Kobe 4s, 5s, and 6s when they came out because I definitely didn't buy enough. But at that point, I wasn't like. I didn't either. I mean, I was buying shoes, but I wasn't like every week or every, you know. I was just buying. I just bought them to hoop in because I was like, I like the commercial. It's Kobe. It's a low. Finally, they come out with like a low. Because I always like low basketball shoes. Right. When the um, team, the Jordan team 1s came out. Like when I was in high school, that was my game shoe. And then when I went like to college and would play like rec ball or whatever, that's what I would wear. And it's not like super low, yeah, but super it's lower low. than it's not a mid or high top. You know what I mean? It's like in between a low and a mid. So, them. Uh, I wish I did buy a lot more Kobe fives. I, I only had like maybe one, maybe two Kobe fours, but Kobe fives only had maybe like three or four, and they weren't. One of them was my favorite kind of Wolf Grays, and then I had like you know some Laker colorways. But I never did get Miles Davis. You had Miles Davis blues, right? Yeah. You had some USC colorway two ones, right? I have USC five still at home. They're just a little small. I took the insole out. They fit better. So I think I had a Laura Marion, like a silver one, not the burgundy one. And I think that might have been all I had. But I wish I did buy a little bit more. Of those. I still have all my fours, fives. I have quite a few. See, Kobe those, those six. Were, you got sixes too. The problem yeah. for me is I bought a bunch of eleven and a halfs back then because it was e- either easier to get them or that's what somebody had to buy. You know what I mean? And they didn't fit. So I had. I would have took the insole out. All only, like only I sold three Ds. I thought you sold East LAs. Oh, three never would have sold those. Yeah, I had three D. Only Kobe sixes I like are East LAs, three Ds, Rices, and Grinches. That's it. Kobe sixes is a wag model the, to, the, me, to me. The black. It was the black Dill sole joints was my favorite. And I like the red All Star ones. And, oh yeah, them was fire. You had them too, right? I, I oh, still. I had the red those. sixes, but they were. But I had like a ten. I never had my size. <laughs> you have all sizes, fam. If that's all they had, and I'm like, I'm gonna try to flip it. I'm gonna try to flip it. Like if I wait at the store, I think the yes, fives probably. There. <laughs> well, for a long time, I thought the sevens had the dopest colorways. Because they had like the galaxy. That's what he said too. Fire. Yeah. The, oh, yeah, sevens the had a lot of good had colorways. The seven was just a bad, just bad shoe. So yeah. The shoe was a bad shoe. Especially, I don't even know how people hooped in it because it cracked up. Like it, it would crack up just from wearing it. I yeah. think sixes to me had the best. best like obviously, it starts with Grinch, but also the three D, the East LA, the Orange one County. that no one's talked about is the Orange County. Yeah, yeah that one's fire. That one's fire. I, and I, I, then I think the fives might have it though. The five, five is my favorite model. I don't know about colorways. Though. They had some fire. They had the Dark Knights were fire. The Chaos yeah. was fire. But they had the Chaos Big was stage. six. Was fire in the six no, too? Though. It was no, very chaos similar. Was, well, Chaos is better than five. Huh? Chaos was better than no. five. Yeah, one hundred percent better than Fam. five. My Chaos team, five was so. better than Chaos six. I think the five was better. Yeah, than way six. better. Yeah. Now Helicopter six. Was there a helicopter five? Relax, you. Helicopter six. <laughs> helicopter six was fire. Don't sit here and tell me that shoe was whack. Do not. I didn't say do it was whack. No, I said the five not, was it's better. Not whack, but I, I, like, whack. I like the five. The five. And I know what it looks like. And how much better? Like barely, or because this shoe was fire. Well, the shoe is better than the six. Of the course, five. that's different. Okay, that's one. Two. The Kobe Chaos is better than that one. I mean, that's I, what I got for you. I would, I would say, it's, <laughs> I would say it's because the co- the the five has like the white on the upper that kind of you know. A little bit of contrast is like it. I don't know. It just it, looks cleaner to me. Damn, this has the speckle on the. Uh, the can you look at the five? Because the five got the speckle too. I don't know if it does. It does. It does. The it's on the uh, midsole. I think. It's got the red speckle on the midsole. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. You ever seen it? When you look at the picture, you'll be like, Oh, I've seen it. This is the pro tro. This don't count. <laughs> oh, hey, yes, you can open that one. You can't open that one. No, I'm talking about just being the original. <laughs> yeah, this has it, but this ain't better. Come on, man, are you kidding me? 
Oh, that one's better. No, it's not. Then that's the, the one. Shoe, I, that's the one I was trying so hard to get, shoe, and I could have got it. The shoe is better. No, you checked out, and then they cancel your order. Oh, that's right. And everybody else got it. I remember you had like sent the thing, and then since everybody else, everybody else checked tapes. out. Well, I think yeah. only tapes got it. I don't. Oh, we're talking about the OGs. Yeah, them is, them the is Pro-Tro way is, better than the six. The Pro of that was simple, man. No, no, I'm, he's talking about like buying the Pro Tro. Yeah, I bought the Pro Tro. It was, my, my OG started separating, so oh, I, I, oh, I, gotcha. I bought the Pro Tros. Okay. I, I went to uh, Foot Locker the day after they came out, and they were still sitting, and I just bought them. Oh Wait, yeah, I walked year? through. Oh, you're talking about the re-release, the Pro Tro. Yeah. Oh, what? When, it, what? when it came out the first time. And, uh, oh, the yeah, very, yeah, very, yeah, very, yeah, very first. No, I mean, I remember right going in the mall oh, like yeah. a week and they, later, they and they were sitting, sitting there. Yeah, you talking about the OG. Yeah, I thought you meant like with the retro, like what last year, year before in last. In Scottsdale Mall at Nike Store before they moved, not Nike Store before they moved Foot Locker from where you know where it's at now with House of Hoops. It used to be like across the uh, hall or whatever. This shoe, this is the Pro Tour, obviously, but this shoe was just sitting on the display. Like you know how you they have the display that by glass the case thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just sitting on the thing. Who's just in there? Dark Knights yeah. was like that too. I should have bought it. Dark Knights. Dark Knights are whack. I that what? it sold out. I, at, like, I like the Dark. Knights. I never care for Dark Knights. They're like not the whack. You smoking? Yeah, they're fire. So it's it it sold out at Beverly Hills Mall House of Hoops because that's where I was at when when I bought the USCs. Now I don't know if it sold out immediately or whatever, but they had like Rice USC. We talking about fives, right? Dark Knight fives, right? No. Yeah, five. Dark Knight five is better than Dark Knight six. Oh, easy. You don't have a question. Yeah. Easy. Hands down. Because okay. the USC I have is a five. So they had Rice, USC, and maybe another one. And Duke and Dark Knight had just sold out. The guy was like, oh, yeah, we just sold out yesterday or this morning or something. Rice. And they had women's pinks. Like, not the men's sizes, but the women's oh. sizes or something. The K-Yow. Yeah. yeah. And Hannah should have bought it. I told her. I was like, you better get this. The, uh, she didn't buy it. The Rice and the five was whack. I liked how I had Rice in the back. It had the Rice and words in the back, right? I think so. I think so, and it was yellow, but the I think the yellow and a green. But the rice six was fire. It had the iridescent green and the gold, and it had the black mamba snake head this is in the corner. Oh, it's not. The, the colorway is the, better. The rice six is the better. red. The like, like infrared on the collar makes it pop more. Rice six and Grinch. Grinch obviously and rice six are the greatest Kobe six colorways of all time. Nah, uh, to me, yeah. No, 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 no. Look at look at Rice Kobe six and look at the snake no. head in the back. Don't even do that. The, the high school the aces the Co- the no, Lord Marion not colorways six. not in a six and a no. four and five. All the line. If you're comparing lines of Rice versus Lord Marion, Lord Marion's better. Oh yeah, of course. But I'm not caring, comparing the whole line. I thought you just said they're no, they said, are the best colorways. No, no, no. Like, I said plural. in the six model, the oh. best colorway was Rice and Grinch to me. Ah, that Blackdale soul is just that's, Black Dale souls aren't whack, but like that was like Laker color. It was just like you know, it's, it's just a clean it's the, the color house soul too. Like whatever that is, pink or gum or mix or whatever that is. Did that even come out? Fire. Yeah. I don't even remember yeah, that. I don't know if there were many colors of it, but <laughs> Clay Thompson used to wear this at Washington State. Oh. Like I remember there was one game Arizona was playing up there, Derek Williams was wearing um three Ds, and I think Clay Thompson was wearing these. Them books is fire. Now he wears Etnas. <laughs> what come, what else come out? Antis, Antis, yeah. yeah. Whatever they call. Getting that Chinese. Some of them joints is fire though. I look at some of them Antis, 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 and I'd be like, man, them joints is crazy. If I hooped, I might. Try I say them. Kevin Garnett wore them too, and he has some fire joints. Oh, he when did. He was playing. Rondo did too. There's yeah. a few players that wore them. I think Ray Allen maybe at one point. Nah, Ray Allen. Always Jay Bell. Okay, yeah, he yeah. was always he never Jordan Brand. Yeah. I felt like it was some other people that that was definitely rocking them. What else, George? Um, Jordan One OG High Light Fusion Red, the like pinkish, oh, that's that, like, yellowish, pinkish or whatever. Yeah. Oh no, that's that McDonald's looking joint, right? Yeah, yeah. but I think it's more pink than red McDonald's. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's red. I watched some some guy did a, a a review on it, and it's it's like red. It's closer to like varsity red. It looks like Atlanta Hawks color, so it's like red. Mm. Oh, do yeah. color like Hawks colors? I'm not. The shoe leather looks. Crazy on it, like I've seen up close stuff, but the colorways, eh, I don't yeah. know. That's eh. not wearable. <laughs> I'll pass. It's wearable. <laughs> That's not wearable. I mean, you gotta have the right bathing ape fit. You be like, if, you, a if it was a low, <laughs> if it was a low with less of that pinkish reddish color, I think maybe it'd be a little more wearable. But with all that, nah, it's not wearable. I mean, it's wearable if you play in the McDonald's All American game. But that's about yeah, it. Okay. Uh, Skepta Air Max Tailwind Five. Nah. 
No. I no. do. I saw like I went to the homie house. Shout out to homie Eric. He had a housewarming party, and he bought the Skeptics, the blue ones, the box. The Skeptics is tight. I don't have a special box. The box is fire. But nah, I'm cool on tailwinds. I'm not a tailwind person. I, I have some tailwinds at the house, but they're the OGs, 93, 94. Them joints is. I mean, these crumbled. don't suck, but they suck. They wag. I mean, they they don't suck, but they suck. Now, if I was like sixty eight dollars and twenty seven cents, oh yeah, I cop a pair. Sixty eight dollars twenty eight cents. That's it. Nope. Unless you got something else you put on the list. I think uh, that's it. I don't know. Nothing else. I can't think of nothing else. Nothing on sneakers app. There's no drops this week. I mean, I just named a bunch of Nike uh, drops. Guess that's it then. Women's dunk. Uh, I already forgot. I mean, I can look it up. Freemasons. Oh, that came out this morning. This morning. Well, not that Saturday. That those uh, black and green Jordans sixes came out. Oh yeah, you didn't get those. You didn't try for those. Did you see them at the store first? Yeah. So yeah, okay. what? I mean, they didn't look too bad. I mean, if you <laughs> you know if you like that lime green color, oh, like, see, I like the, 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 lime, the lime green on the black was was cool though. Yeah. It wasn't bad. I think the color. Was I fine. thought the shoe was I fire. Was I mean, Sakai I don't... Blazer Lows. Uh, oh, not them is whack. You know, you know I'm how telling long you, ago, you said what's coming out. You know how oh, long ago though? and uh, I'm on my near threes. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're doing like a big release for those now. Yeah. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I expect to get a nine and a half from uh, sneakers. I, I want to get this and see if I can trade it for a curry. That's what I want to do. Wait, wait, I mean, it doesn't come out this week. You don't think that's better than curry, fam? I'm asking you. I didn't say. What I do thought you that. think? I don't know. I don't. No, no, no. Don't do that. Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> it's olive. Nah, 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 I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta ask opinions on here. Uh, nah, man. curry's a fire, man. Curries are extremely fire. I like the curries. I've, I've seen so many people wearing them though. Really? I don't Man. Even care. I'll see it's them like every, next it's, year. It's like every time I, go I still haven't worn pink I pigs yet. Like I'm them. just saving stuff. Are you I'm just like man? They just beating them. It's, I'm like, I like them. <laughs> I'm just like, I see. I think it's clean, fine to beat them. Jordan ones and Jordan one lows, but there's something about suede dunks that yeah, you can't. Don't beat those. No. They got a white toe box. Yeah, no, don't do that. No. I don't own one suede dunk, so no. well, no suede dunk yes, SP. Need. I got a bunch of suede SBs, but yes, you need these. No wonder you like these more than uh, which. I mean, no, I didn't say that. Look at you trying to change the narrative. I mean, I mean Joe I Budden for SBs hmm? over regular dunks. <laughs> really? I listen to you, yeah. <laughs> Joe Budden. SBs over. I want. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, lie. I want these two, but I want them for like half price. Well, I want, which is not possible. But I wish I would have kept Metacons. Like no, no, those them Metacons in were. A Fire in hand. No, I mean they. There was something about it when you open the fire. box. That's it like, like Ooh, <laughs> okay, some these, these are special. Are but then you think about it when you close the box and you like, nah, they special. Suck. <laughs> special was the word you used. There was something about it. I agree. But see, when you can't put your finger on what that is that you think is fire for, then you just got to move on from it. It was the black on it. Like it was darker than black. Like, but what? <laughs> it was like black. It was the. It, it was the like mixture of shattered. the black and the gray and the white. Yeah. It was like it went together the right it way. It was perfectly. It was like the white was whiter and the black was blacker. <laughs> yes, <laughs> contrast. It was. Right. The contrast like, was oh, turned but, up. But also <laughs> it being Man. also being that fur, it had a sheen to it. Like it had a sheen like a like uh like a black bear. That's what it looked like. Mm, it looked like a black bear that was healthy. This doesn't come out this week, but I don't understand this. This has already come out four times. In when does it come out? Next week or two weeks. Because somebody was like, Yo, we got unreleased pairs. I was like, So is it not coming out then? Six twenty four. Um, did they like push it back or something? No, but I mean Costins came out, the women's colorway came out, and the women's Jordan came out. Yeah, like, I was about to say, I've seen that. Why shoe do we like need this? Now. Yeah, it's like why? Like they just, is it <laughs> this is the fourth time? Is this the same one, or what's going on with that? Oh, uh, yeah, but I, I definitely like. I was. I, I say like like SBS, man. They're just more comfortable. <sighs> that padded tongue, you know, the zoom, the cushion. It's just more comfortable. SBS and Dunks are such in a weird spot right now. Like, has there been a collaboration of a a sportswear Dunk right now? Not an SB, a sportswear. Oh, we just have the fragments. That's sportswear, right? I mean, it was a high. High, but is there a, a, a collaboration sportswear dunk I, low? Well, that, yeah, that, well, not a low, no. I don't think oh, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a low. 
I just had a search on here to make. I'm glad list. the prices are coming down on these dunks because I just bought the, the cobalt and black ones for 180. Rico had found them for me. They're only 163 on StockX, you know, shipped. That's with fees and stuff. So I was like, oh, cool, I'll buy these. Like, they ain't like my absolute favorite, but it is still a dunk I can wear. So, but the prices coming down is perfect because they shouldn't be that high in the first place. Like I've said a million times, a, a dunk is just a Nike van. That's all it is. It doesn't. He said a Nike van. Fam, I mean, it, 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 it's it's facts, though. It's facts. It's no it's, it's nice materials, extra pair of laces, no special box, yeah, no technology. But the difference Shoot. is the, yeah, it, the difference is, and the, it and van, it comes at a hundred bucks. Like it's a it's a dunk. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> the difference is Vans puts that kind of stuff like on clearance year round in the Van store and the Nike store. Even when no one wants dunks, you won't see that. Uh, they were at the outlets, mm. not year round. Oh, that's different. Mm. Well, maybe not not in today's culture but when i was no, I mean, when like i was like in ever. middle school dunks were like on clearance everywhere no one wanted them yes but not like what i'm saying with vans is you they can make a million pairs of red black blue white and they'll always be there dunks even if you make a bunch of pairs of one colorway it's going to be gone at some point yeah, you know what true. i mean it does yeah. not going to sit forever no, that's no. It, it, it definitely won't sit. A forever. lot of stuff used to be at Journeys for quite some time. I mean, those are different. Those are colorways no one really wanted, though. Like they had a couple people wanted, but other than that, it was like like the one they made that was like, um, elephant black. You know, yeah. black black elephant. What is it? Yeah, black cement like black elephants cement. or whatever. Them was that. Those were fire, but they didn't. But not they, all their dunks were that good. I mean, no, they weren't, and they didn't. <clears throat> they stayed at Journeys for a while. Yeah, but you if it's not a, good, then it's like who cares. They had a handful of good ones over like a five, ten year span. I, mean, I honestly think that a lot of them dunks that were at Journeys, one of the issues was we didn't want to buy them from Journeys. Like, I, I honestly feel that way. That Some might those, be like a 1% of the issue problem. I, yeah, but I mean, like, a lot of those dunks weren't nowhere else but Journeys and some of those type of Yeah, they probably stores. had exclusives. So, like, if I would have saw a black cement elephant print dunk maybe at a Foot Locker back then it might have would have been something like you know what I might get these but it was something about a Journeys Journeys was always that store that just had like like skater skater, skater stuff, stuff yeah. funky clothing I mean, to me it looked at a, like a little girl store like a little kid store yeah that's what it kind of came off across like I remember I went there and bought a Bar Marley t-shirt like it just had like it was like the Spencer's of sneaker stores it was just like <laughs> Spencer's <laughs> it had everything like it had slippers house shoes Cortez's vans dress shoes had your Tim's, yeah, Tim's, yeah. Doc, Doc Martens, Martins. yeah, they yeah had all everything. And yeah. then over here on the spinning shelf was Dunks, and it had like a bunch of them in a circle highs, lows, insides out. Like it had variations of Dunks. No one cared. Huh? We walk up, look at them. Yeah, most of them ah. sucked though. That's nah, they didn't. Because a lot of those are coming back out or came out. Like some Butch. of those, some of those ones that have come out have been at Viotex. They were at Journeys. Facts. Uh, Facts. if they, I don't remember them being there. But if they were, they weren't there forever. I mean, Viotex went like this. Wild. They went like that in Japan. Viotex, yeah, I remember seeing them. <laughs> now like those Viotex. women's ones that are coming out this week. If those are journeys, okay, those are sitting. I agree. Like candy <laughs> pack or whatever, those are sitting. But that's how those. That's what journeys dunks used to look like. Was that women's one that's coming out this week? Not all of them. Fam, I bought a lot of those dunks later. Not they from had, journeys. Again, they had a couple. They had black cement. Uh, Black three cement, blue on cement. a dunk or whatever. They had the blue one. I had that and I sold it like an idiot. But they had Didn't that. The college packs come out and there. They might have had like a cut. No, I don't think so. I think they U of L, you know, V highs came out there. Syracuse so. highs came out there. So. I don't know about in lows, but they I feel like mint dunks, like the, the elephant print. Yeah, yeah like here, let me see if I can fire. I mean, I have. They I, have like I have Jordan the, packs. Um, like I, oh yeah, they do. Have, yeah, it was it was a Jordan. It was a Jordan pack. That blue one and that black and one. I think, joints was. And I think because well, like, the Supreme Dunks had the elephant tech. print too, and I have those. The red, the red ones with the elephant print, the low tops. You talking about like actual Supreme the brand? Supreme, the Supreme. Oh, dunks, you had yeah. Supreme ones. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay. the, the OG, yeah, OGs. Yeah, SBs. Like, you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, we're not talking about that. Well, no, no, no. If you want to talk about the OGs, I have the ones from from O three as well. The high top joints with the stars on the side. Oh damn! You got everything. The supreme high. The you're supreme talking about yeah, joints, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, we're not got, talking about SBs. I got the red ones and the blue ones. Oh, you got two? Yeah, Come I didn't on, get the orange ones. Got, huh? Man, I've been doing this a while. I'm like, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long nah, we're just talking about sportswear dunks, not uh, um, skateboard dunks. Well, if collecting, collecting. Uh, I mean, I I started maybe 14 oh, when my okay. foot stopped growing. Yeah. I got taller, but my foot, you know, I had to grow into my feet. 
So it was just like I started buying shoes and stuff that I really liked. I'd keep it. Right. And then uh, like like 07, I had like 300 plus and I sold everything except for about 50 pair. Oh, okay. And then we've all been there. Now I'm back up to like <laughs> you know, 300 plus. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, we've it, all been there. Yeah. We're all there now. I went to a house my party this weekend and, you know, obviously it's like homies I've known for a while and all of them, you know, want to talk sneakers the entire time and I'm just like I don't really like sneakers that much I love them but like I can't sit here and talk about them like that like, y'all could beat you on a sneaker battle I'm like okay don't I don't care like don't do that to me <laughs> um, <laughs> they're on StockX but this is probably a better picture because they don't show oh, the yeah, tongue. okay. I've yeah, seen but this is the yours. one that was at like uh, Journeys and stuff okay. ah, I didn't yeah. have this one but I had the, you had the, one the, with the blue cage. one well, I had the blue one okay but that, that one was supposed to be like it was a Jordan pack. But remember, there was one with yeah, the cage. Yeah, it's called J Pack. Okay, what was the one that had the cage over the swoosh? Know. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of like I might be thinking actual Supreme trainers. I'm thinking no, of something when you else. Said I don't J-Pack, remember. J Pack. I was thinking about like the, the SBs. SBs. Yeah, the ones yeah. that look like yeah. the, the Jordan One kind of. It's got he the used color to have, boxes. Yeah, I got what J Packs you have? Myself. You had greens, blues, reds. No, I I I don't know if I sold lime greens or not or whatever it is, Volt, whatever they the call neons, it. I still have yeah, yeah I neon. Have, I, I still have those. those. Yeah. I still have Royals. I'm not ever selling Royals because they fit. It's a twelve. Um, and then Jade Clear Jades, even though those not uh, it was not true. really ever did like I a get Jordan, them too? but it was maybe. I, I think know. I did too. They got they've been yeah, coming these out right with here. so many yeah. clear jades. Oh yeah, I had those. And then, we I maybe, did. and then I maybe had another one. Clear jades I still have, but the prices are kind of high. So and I'm just lazy, but I need to sell them because they're eleven and a half. And I don't know fit. where mine went. I got the black and red joints. I got the neons. We should have bought shadows because shadows <laughs> sat for a while. Yeah, I, I picked up a pair of those. <laughs> I could have grabbed them off Premiere. I could have grabbed them yeah, off so anything. I have this one right here too. Yeah, yeah. this one those, I went. Those to, were my favorite ones. MSI. I went. I must have gone to Cowtown between downtown Cowtown and Tempe. I must have gone ten times. Ask because it was before like release dates. I must have gone ten like before SB release dates at least. I must have gone ten times to ask them. Yo, y'all got these yet? Y'all got these yet? I'm like, nope. Check, back then, check when back. those dropped, they were easy to get though. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. So if, if knew they where they were going, to, if the Royals they didn't, weren't easy to get. Yeah, if they didn't announce and have a lineup, then yeah, you're right. You do because you just walk in the store that day and they're sitting walk there or whatever. Yeah. But if they had a release, like we camped at not camp, but we waited at Cowtown for like a couple hours, different times for like shoes that had like a specific release date, and it was if you didn't get there early. What do you think about them. the new the newer JPEG joints, like the Chicago ones and the? I like the this one right purpose. here. I like that one. I, I wish have, I would have got that one. That one. No, I had to you, get that one. Oh, you got that too? Yeah. Because yeah. this cat kind of got everything. Yeah, I like this one. I wish I would have got it, but I mean, it was basically SBs are impossible now unless you have a connect. Are you willing to like, you know, sleep outside or win a raffle? So to me, it was like. <laughs> just sleep outside. It right? was like no, it's not a possibility. So I just was like, yeah, I don't Them care. Them fire. Uh, what are we talking about? I'm still going to find these royals. Cool Kai. You see the cool car stuff? Yeah, that, that, that dude was going in. Like I saw the the uh the videos of uh, him uh, like talking. Oh uh, like, Omi talking. guy? Yeah, the Omi, other guy, yeah. yeah Omi okay. was going in. Do you I know him? Like, no. Nah, okay. I don't, know him. I don't know him either. Yeah, he was kind of going in. So I appreciate everybody who said that to me. I mean, everybody sent that to me. I'm talking everybody. <laughs> um skates and everybody sent it. And um oh, Kith got these up right now. You want them. Nah, I don't wear the other ones. I copped the mm-hmm. got the sure Korean you know. print on the thing or whatever. <laughs> um, and I'm joining this fire. Nah, I'm like I don't care for that colorway, but like you know the ones I got are fire. All NMDs are fire. But, uh, not, but I don't know who Omi is. I mean, so I guess like supposedly based on oh, the videos, CL. That's what it is. Based on the videos that he sent, he said that he has sent the sneakers to Kai like sort of like a joke or something like oh I'm gonna make these whatever like whatever and then Kai was like ah you know how do your thing you know not hating whatever type thing and he said he was just joking when he sent it but then he said as soon as he sent it he said Kai called the manufacturer and was like <laughs> yo don't make any of his shoes like don't make them or whatever and he was like what like so I guess that's what set him off to like forget it this is mine now or whatever and which is one of the greatest <laughs> taglines of the year like I mean, so I guess he's gonna come so out. That, hold on, sorry. This is the white and blue one. This is the one I had. Oh, okay, that was at yeah, uh, that, that was at uh, Journeys too. Yeah, yeah. Was it three of them though? I had. There's more. Yeah, there's. Yeah. I think there's four total. But there was the black cement one, the, the blue cement one, 
but it was black. Then that white cement went with the black. I felt like there was one more. There's four. There was Probably other pictures one. here. Had to Probably. be. Um, I don't know if something. this was. Oh no, that's a different pack. But there, but that one exists too. Oh, I had these too. Oh yeah, them was at Journeys too. Look at Journeys had heat. They like I said, they had a couple. They didn't no, have. They it had wasn't a like, lot. Fam, they had a couple. You just don't remember. They I'm literally looking it up right now. And literally, you looked up uh, six for six for heat. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's literally because I searched this specific one. I didn't right. search like what dunks the journeys had. I guarantee you, if All there right. was a list, you would be like six Damn, for like they had six for eight. UNLV highs. They had Syracuse highs. They had insides I don't out. Remember all that? They had the ones that had like no guts. One pieces. I got one pieces from there. They had a lot of fire dunks. Facts. I don't remember all that. All right. <laughs> You should have been there with me. Like I was talking about Cool Kai and all that. So basically, Omi, I guess, is going to now make the Kai shoe because, I mean, it's just a <laughs> lightning bolt. Well, so, he, he was saying that um, that uh, Homeboy took that uh, Kai, he took that design from somebody else. Like yeah. somebody else had had that shoe before him, and then he put it out. So he's just like, how you going to be mad at me for taking it when you took it from somebody else? And he, he was just like, that's... No, that's fact. <laughs> so, like, there's a brand called Superb. That's the one with the net I'm talking about. Yeah. Had the netting. I remember that. Yeah. So there's a brand called Superb. And when we first got on IG and started the podcast, that was one of the first pages I followed. Like, it was like, you know, we were like, oh, starting a podcast. I started following all these other brands, you know, whatever. And they had some dope sweaters and some dope T-shirts and stuff. Now, they make sneakers now. And they always did use that lightning bolt, that right. sideways lightning bolt or whatever. And I remember when Kai came out, I was like, man, I've seen this lightning bolt before because the homie that started that brand, I think he played for the Packers. I think his name was like, I think on social media, it's like Molly, but I can't remember his name. He played for the Packers. I think he's the founder of that brand. And so I always followed it or whatever. And so supposedly that brand has a trademark too, like on that lightning bolt or whatever. But I was like, why they let Kai rock with it for so long? If they trademark that lightning bolt sideways or whatever. Anyways, you know, and look, obviously, we don't know the ins and outs of this. I don't know if Homeboy is going to actually release those, but he's going to release them supposedly for one fifty nine ninety nine. Oh, he got mad in that video that I was watching, and he was like, man, you keep playing with me. I'm going to sell them for $99. Yeah. Yeah, he did say something <laughs> under $100 at first. Like, Damn, he said $99. But then I think he realized, like, you know what? I could charge a little bit more. It makes it more money. Because yeah. Kai's are like 250 <clears throat> or something like that. They're high. They're like 229 230 I don't think they're 180. Like, they're, I think there's a... Listen, if you would have asked me six months ago or whatever, I would have never thought this would have got to higher clownish levels than uh, Warren Head. The yeah. fact that it surpassed Warren Man for what he was doing is crazy. Yeah. But now that I look back, if I was st still own, like, Warren Lotus whatevers, I would feel less bad than owning Kai's. I'm going to be completely honest. At this point... Well, it depends. <laughs> I mean, all the SBs you got. Oh, why would you feel about them? There was another one. I had those ones. Them was fire. Them was like Oreos like, or something. I like those. Um, feel about what, about what? Like Warren Lotus says, you a SB man. The oh, Warren when I Lotus. saw those, the ones yeah, with the, the, the Jason mask on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't mad at it, but I mean, at the same time, it was just like, we know what that is. You know, it's, it's not, you're not fooling nobody with that. Like, yeah, like, all fire! You you journeys has some of this, the greatest heat of all time. Damn, we didn't even I'm know it. Specifically, looking up certain ones. Greatest one of all time. Uh, I'm <laughs> angry. I sold these. I think I sold these for peanuts. All you gotta do is type in like journey, actual peanuts. Journeys dunks. Uh, Paul, the greatest of all time. <laughs> the greatest of all time. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about all look, that. Look, here's the thing, and I said this the other week about Kai. I don't have a problem with Kai. You know, we had a little back and forth or whatever, but it's the same issue that I had with Two J. Kicks man, beard face. Still got the DMs, B. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> still got still got the DMs with, uh, sent to me. Uh, two J's man in Vegas. Like it was never anything about him. I got see no no. The problem with him is he'll say something and then there people see it and then he'll erase his comment. Like if you're gonna say something oh, no, crazy, no, no, no. at least leave your comment there. I'm talking about when me and him got into it a long time no, no, ago. No, no, I know, but oh, I'm saying the yeah. difference between Kai and him. Kai didn't like say something and then delete it. At least he left it up. Man well, said something and okay, well I don't know if he did something with you. Like I said, I still have DMs. They will never be shared yeah. ever, but I have DMs. But OJ, what's his name? Two J J J yeah. Kicks. He'll write something controversial and then everybody jumped on his back and he had deleted it. Oh yeah, of course. I mean nerd. he was wrong. Of course he was, but you're a nerd. 
<laughs> so a long, long you could time post ago, under it and be like, oh, you know what? Sorry, I'm I, you like, right. yeah, you know what I mean. I thought like, I posted a video to it too. I should have. Um, with him, a long time ago, when he had the store, Urban Necessities, all that, he still has a store, one of the biggest stores in Vegas now. Like he opened a new one in Caesar's Palace. But shout out to him, hard worker, did his thing, whatever. But he had put this post on IG, like a story. And it was like, what should I buy? Like the Rolex or the Automere type thing. And I was like, man, don't be gross. Buy your watch and go. Cause I was like, I don't like seeing stuff like that, especially like when you resell. Like we the one that like, all the sneakerheads the one that built you up to be who you are. And like, I just ain't interested in like your stuff. That was my interest with my, my issue with Kai. Kai would be selling all his brand, but then be showing off all these other brands. Like selling a bunch of, looking like Jordan 1, then you go out and buy all the Gucci on Earth. Like, it just didn't make any sense to me. Like, I was just like, fam, you're... And somebody made that point to me was like, fam, he takes... He sells you guys bootleg Jordan, and he goes buy all the real Jordan 1s. And I was like, that's a fact. Like, I had an issue with that. And I am not a person... <sighs> Look, I understand, like, social media. You know, you show your, like... You know, your successes. You know, you got a new whip, you know. You... It's a difference between showing success and then just being like obnoxious yeah i'm not he's it's, obnoxious it's, it's that's a, what it he is like he's obnoxious with you know? it and then like you know the stuff he says like y'all killing the sneaker game i'm like fam this yeah, is literally a, killing it you yeah. are literally <laughs> 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 like you this know and, like, yeah, come on. i hate that like and he's not a talker which is another thing that, I, that annoys me because he did something about his captions speak louder than actually talking because it's like I'm killing this nigga game. I'm out here doing this thing the, from the ground up. And I'm like, you threw a lightning bolt on the Jordan 1, man. Like, anybody could have done it if they would have got into it at the right time and, and really pursued it. I mean, now is the time. Jordan 1's is like <sighs> the, the hype. I don't know right if anybody could make another Jordan 1 like Kai and put another on it and have the success that he's had. Because yeah, it true. almost feels like he's the originator of the bootleg 1, even though that's not true. There was others who've done it before him, yeah. But for some odd reason, his just seemed to just hit harder. Like, well, it's it's just because of the time that it came out. You it know, was cause, perfect. I mean, because y'all are probably about the same age as me. I mean, uh, we, we saw, you know, the bootleg Jordan ones. You know, what fifteen years ago? Oh, I mean, yeah. It was, you know. You see it at the flea markets and stuff. Yeah. You know, it is and, kind of no one cared about it then. And but see, now, well, see, sudden, back the then, toys. and see, back then, they didn't look like you see. When we talk about bootlegs and fakes when we were back older. Well, if, yeah, them yeah, joints look crazy. <laughs> like you knew what it was trying to be, but it couldn't even compare. But they had some decent ones out there, though. Ooh, they God. were they were hard to find back then. But they, they must did have been have hard to find because oh, yeah. ooh, that block of time when like. Like Cats was throwing early two thousands. Like it was. Cats was throwing SpongeBob on Dub Zeros and. <laughs> oh, you that, know, was, that was later on. That Jordan was, Sevens had clear toe boxes and stuff. You was like, <laughs> what is going? That was, that was like the late the late two thousands. Yeah, they had all kinds of crazy. What was it? Those those triple A triple A quality joints. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why Jordan never did come out with the Jordan women high heels because them fakes that used to be on the internet. Them like people used to send me pictures of stuff like, is this real? I'm like. <laughs> The time, man. No, man. stop it. Man. Girls stop used to do that. I was like, yo, what you It says $69.99. What do you think? You think you just found some miraculous website? Man, man, look at these. Ain't nobody got these. They're from New York. I'm like, yeah, they're from yeah, Far they East, from, all right. They're from Canal Street. That's where they're yeah. from. They're they from Far East. Uh, <laughs> they're not from the East. They're from super far East. Not New Orleans Canal Street. Don't, it's not disrespect. <laughs> No, nah, shout out to the homie Lee. Lee, nah, we yo, talking about Canal. We talking about Canal New in New York. Boy. Yeah, New York. I was on Canal Street buying them big old earrings and big squares, the Allen and diamonds. Joints. Those joints had coat. We call them coat of arms. They were so big. <laughs> Those of the family. Uh, look, man. Look, Kai and all them. Whatever, man. I don't know Omi man like that. I don't care. Whatever, whatsoever. But look, Kai to me, like I said, he's he's gotten way too ahead of himself considering what he's doing like he dropped a new picture today of an air force one with a fireball on it and i was like you gotta be kidding me like you gotta be kidding me like you just made an air force one with a, a big giant flame that's, a, on that's it. another one that's been bootlegged forever forever i mean the beeps had it had they were basically air force ones and then you had there was an air force one with a lightning bolt on it back in the day and i mean oh, yeah. they, they had all types of like bootleg air force ones so i'm just like come on man like it, you're not doing nothing new <laughs> No. Nah. It's just people are just buying it. Look at this. Look at this. Like he dropped the 
Oh, he took the picture down. Them joints was oh, wow. He, he probably got flamed. He took them down. Like, oh, oh he, look at him. Oh, they they probably was trashing that joint. But like, look, but but you know what? That. Oh, you know what it is too. It's the people in the comments. Look at these. Come on, man. What are those? It was Biotex. Man. I'm Basically, like, come yeah. on, look at that, George. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like this is this old picture though? Didn't he share this? No, he did that till today. I mean, come on. I think somebody had made the same thing, no? Or Pam, it was him. He he put the picture a long time ago. Yeah, he, like I want to see he's like trying before. to rush and come out with all this stuff. And you know what the people too? And like I don't like people that be, you know, look. People that congratulate him stuff, but like people that comment under his stuff, I don't consider them sneakerheads because you can't be that wild about it. They'd be like, fam, you are killing it. I'm like, you know that's a Viotech, right? <laughs> They'd be like, fam, you did it again. You you, you out here. Sl-. I'm like, did it again? Like, mm. And I look at their pages. I'm like, you know, let me see what this cat page look like. And he'd just be like some local rapper. He don't know what he's he he talking about. <laughs> or it'd be like some girl on there like, oh, my gosh, I got to get my man some of those. I'm like, yeah, go get your man some of those. Go see. What- <laughs> go get your- Unless you're a man that local rapper. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to say if my girl ended up if she bought me a pair of those I would just be like what is this like <laughs> this this ain't even this ain't even the right ones like, look it, man I respect <laughs> them for their business but somebody sent me a cool Kai scamming page I'm gonna start a pan a page yeah that of all account his was scam. funny that account was crazy like people DM this account like all the time they've been scammed by Kai and show all the DMs of them talking to him and them joints are wild uh, like they said like some of the pre orders what happened was like. Everybody pre-ordered them, and they took all the pre-orders to a pop-up and sold them at a pop-up. And everybody's like, yo, where are my shoes at? And then he's like, oh, we sold them at the pop-up. We'll, we'll, we'll make you some more, and we'll get them to about five to six months. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, you've wow. got to be kidding me. Go again. Oh, yeah. so he basically did what Kanye does, takes the money early and use it for something else. Well, I don't mean to throw Kanye into the bus. That's not yeah, my point. But I'm, I'm saying, just saying like, <laughs> he's doing that same scheme. Well, n- no, yes. Because he doubled his money and he, only sold, and he only sold one shoe. Well, okay, I guess. Yeah, I'm, he doubled again, it I'm one. not trying yeah, to yeah, throw yeah. Kanye no, into no, the bus. I'm saying. saying it's pre- a pre-order, like, same scam. He doesn't, yeah, but Kanye doesn't like take your money and right. order and then sell them somewhere else. Like he will have us pre-order. I mean, it's and still like take, Peter to pay Paul, though. Right. Kinda. Like he'll he'll make us pre-order breads and take all the breads to DC and be like, "Yo, pop up shop," and we sit here waiting for our breads. He already got them, and then he's selling them to DC, so he makes twice the money yeah. of one shoe, and either doesn't send ours or makes another pair later on or something yeah. like whatever it is. But you go through that cool Kai scamming page. That page is crazy. <laughs> like how he talking to people. Like yo, you ain't getting your money back. Like, it's actually saying crazy stuff. And like I said, I ain't got no problem with Kai. I, I don't care for his shoes. I, mean, I don't hey, care for look, if he whatever. Want to run his business in the ground? That's on him. Like that's you, on him. Yeah, now if Omi man do drops all this heat, I don't know. B he drops all that stuff, he could hurt that. All business. I know is squeezing them shoes heat had me a, in tears. Oh yeah, somebody showed a picture of like a Jordan one, and they squeezed it, and it was firm. Like it's the, they got the Kai black red <laughs> squeeze that joint turn into like a sponge <laughs> oh no it looked like a foam runner <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it got squeezed but whatever man like Whack. whatever man uh nike kobe vanessa mambacita all that you definitely a kobe guy i don't know your thoughts on i mean the I, whole situation so I, basically I, well hold on so let's real, real quick so the mambacita shoe We've been seeing pictures for like a little while. Right? Oh, yeah. Which I thought was kind of weird. Like, we've seen pictures way before she had even said anything. Like, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like a couple weeks later, it was like, hey. And it wasn't until like Chris Middleton was wearing them in the game. Somebody else was wearing them. Maybe PJ Tucker. I don't know. Somebody else was wearing them. And then she was like, hey, I made these, designed them. I don't know if you have any thoughts on it. You a Kobe person, the I whole mean, process. To, to me personally, I think that it looks bad on Nike that all of this stuff has even happened in the first place. And I mean, because the way that the process works is that she designed the shoe, you know, how she wanted it to look. So Nike actually made pairs of it, you know, I guess as a, you know, because at the, at the time they were still under contract. So they all went ahead and made, you know, they didn't make a ton, but they made some. So one of the pictures that the guys had up there was um, it was in Europe. It, they were sent by Nike to a retailer 
to oh. sell. Oh, okay, that's right. And he was taking pictures of them, and that was when she was like, hey, I don't even have any of those. How did you get them? Right. And it's just like, come on, man. It's just like nobody's stupid. It's like Nike Nike took that design when she made it, and they went ahead and put that, and were like, we're going to go ahead and make it. And they probably made like maybe, from what I've heard, they said that there's probably about a 1,000 pairs of them out there that oh, have been so made not already. Even that, oh, okay. Of the... Of the, those Mamba The girl, yeah, 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 his daughter. Those shoot. black yeah. and white okay, sixes. Yeah, yeah there, there's like a thousand pairs of them that have been made by Nike. And they've already sent them to retailers. Right, like, so they probably made more than a thousand, but a thousand got leaked got out, got out, shipped right. out somehow. Okay, yeah. And it's just kind of like, I mean, come on, Nike. Like, nobody's dumb. It's just like, we know what's going on here. It's just like, <laughs> you can just sit there and be like, oh, well, we did this when we were still under contract, so buy it. By contract, we can do that. You know, it's like right. it, it didn't happen after the contract, so we can still sell this, and you can't do anything about it. But I mean, it, it's still messed up. What now? Do we know? Was there a plan to donate any of the initial proceeds to anything? Like what? Because if you make a shoe for her, it has to be for well. Some as purpose. far as what Vanessa wanted to do, like the money was going to go to like the whole the Sita thing that yeah, she has going on. Okay, I, I didn't know if it was like the little girls' league or. Like well, the Kobe I think it's, Center it's or whatever it is, it's it's gonna probably be part of that. But she has like a foundation, and it's gonna go to that. And you know, it was it was supposed to be you know some money for that type yeah. stuff. It makes but, sense. You know, Nike ain't with that. Listen, man. you make a Kobe <laughs> shoe, you do whatever. I you know, but you make his daughter, fam. That should all be to the little girls' league. I mean. <laughs> I mean, Nike isn't any better than anyone else. I mean, you see all these other people that, you know, with these bots and stuff every time a Kobe drops and they're buying up every single one of them just to resell it because right. they're trying to just make money off of it because, you know, Kobe's dead. So, oh, we, we can make money now because his stuff yeah, is going I mean, for a just, lot of money. So, yeah. it, you know, it's just You're just Nike. talking about human behavior. It's, human behavior ain't changing. People know they can make a buck. People were selling PPE in the middle of a pandemic. You couldn't get hand sanitizer because a man had it all in his garage. Right. Oh, yeah. Selling it for $75 or whatever. Oh, yeah. Humans are just bad. When money comes down on money, they're just bad in some, general. Some of them are, yeah. Some but, people will never change. You know? But a company like Nike who has, like, we know they have some smart people in the building who think consciously like they may lose out to the money grubbing side of Nike because we know Nike got that side too of course but we know that company has like all the things they've done granted we know that they donate money to both political parties or whatever but they've done a Kaepernick thing they've done which other ones do they do Kaepernick they do pride all the time they've done yeah they do Black pride History so they've Month done like some social so they should know the smart people should win out Sometimes, you know what I mean. I the smart know. people shouldn't lose out on stuff like that, like the conscious thinking people. I, I understand know, sometimes smart, smart people gonna lose out when it comes down to money. Yeah, you but know, it's, they looking at it. They they looking at that as a paycheck. I mean, fam, they they it's not like move. they made a million pairs. I mean, you said they only a thousand got out. The run was probably only. It had to be projected low because. Nike just does that with stuff like that. Right. They want to keep it limited, so the hype is up. I mean, they took all the pairs off StockX, Dorn all the pairs off eBay. Dornbeckers for a hospital, and the pairs are low. You know what I mean? Like, if that's <laughs> low. <facts. laughs> so, how did they not, like, how did the greedy side not go like, oh, shit, this is his daughter's shoe who passed away in a helicopter accident. Was she 10 or 12? 13. It was like 12 or 13. 14. Okay. Like, she was older. Like, fam. She was like a, 12 or 13. It's not a toddler, but that's a kid. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? I would love I would to strangle that. somebody at Nike. I'm not even going to lie. If I, they, they lucky it's not me and it's Vanessa Bryant because I would lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind on eBay right now, and eBay didn't do nothing to my child. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I, I understand it, and I I'm going to tell the eBay story, by the way. I'm going to already ask you that. But, um, I just don't understand why, you know, I just feel like Nike is... We could act like we care, honestly, but we we I mean we care at the moment. But I'll be back. Care on about what? What do you mean? Oh, like buying another Nike shoe? Yeah, you're not seeing people like yo Nike is just. Yeah. Da, da, da. I don't think it's gonna stop. Yeah, you're right. It's yeah, not gonna no. stop anybody from that. But 
you know, I look at it as business business loopholes and smarts. Like you said, they were like, hey, we made this when the contract was up. We, you know, whatever. And I do feel like, honestly, I'm just kind of like, when is this going to end? I think I'm just like, done. When is the relationship just going to end? Because I'm just done with corporate scumbags. Like, I, just, I mean, I, I, see, really I think that, you know, I agree, you know, with you. It's it's, it's business. But at the same time, it's, it's still messed up. Yeah, know? it's, it's like, messed you know, up. But like. The loophole, like if you're not gonna renew your contract with us, oh, we gonna get some, we gonna do something. Well, from what they were saying, you know. that they're they're still in talks of negotiating. So, oh, so right, so the one that. like counterpoint or devil's advocate point you can make is you could say, well, Vanessa's still gonna be fine. You know what I mean? Regardless, yeah, of course. she's still gonna be fine. The kids are gonna be taken care of. So you can definitely make that devil's advocate argument that they're still gonna be able to fund the foundation they're still going to be able to right. fund the youth league and all that stuff uh, based off what they do in the future i mean i'm sure they already got stuff in the works so if, from that regard yeah they're going to be fine but still it's well i mean she I don't like it, corporate it, greed like that well, she, i'm not with that the corporate greed like you said is what really started it because she just wanted the product to be widely available yeah, so all right, of us of could course. get it yeah, yeah. especially like the young people and Nike wasn't trying to hear that shit. They yeah. were just like, hey, look, man. <laughs> they look like, at it like, what, 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 hey, his bro. line will be ruined if we do that. Like, It's just like, whoever whoever is going to put money in our pocket, we going we gonna to let yeah. them get that. You know, and it's... Nike is like, you watch like a little hamster go to the water thing or whatever, and they go for so long and they get this little bit of water. That's what they do. They drop like a little bit of shoes and a little bit of shoes and people like sucking at the teeth of Nike. Like I said, I, if I played devil's advocate... I would love to think that Nike would have was was or would have been on board with releasing a lot more Kobe's worldwide. But like we talked about on this podcast numerous times, it took a long time for Kobe's to actually retro. So then the unfortunate, untimely passing of Kobe, it clearly didn't line up right. Not line, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it happened at a time when like Kobe's were getting ready to start retroing and stuff like that. So like I could see them. Like, hey, man, they, we, they just started coming out. We're not going to throw these out to everybody right now. Now, down the road, you know, we may throw a bunch out. Yeah, you know, they have and to all plan that. stuff nine months in advance. Right. So, so like, you know, I can understand it to that sense. You know, in this situation right here, honestly, in this situation, I feel like a new Kobe story with Nike and Vanessa comes out every single week, every other week. Like, I just want to know when is this going to end? Because it was like, well, contract's up. This is the very last Kobe. I just saw pictures of the new EB. E-B-Y-L That basketball league Yeah but that doesn't have anything oh, to do with Kobe though. Well the Kobe 6 like, Oh was, you're talking about a shoe Yeah I you're about the yeah. league itself Yeah so. It's like I, There's like two other Kobe's I just seen I just saw PJ Tucker Wearing a new Kobe colorway I mean I'm just like well, When does this actually I thought, Yeah end? I thought you were talking about the league you know? The league itself has nothing to do with Kobe And like, and, and another thing too Like I'm pretty confident that We talked about with Sneaker Lawyer I'm pretty confident Vanessa Williams has Proper representation I don't know <laughs> You said I, Vanessa Williams. I mean Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa Bryant, but I don't know. I don't know. I was watching a movie with Vanessa Williams the other day. Vanessa Williams, fine. Huh? Oh yeah, back in the day, oh, she might still be now. I mean, I haven't I, seen her. In a while. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a while, but oh. yes. Uh, was she married to Rick Fox? She was fine. Um, Rick Fox is a goof. Uh, <laughs> he's a cool cat. He's a goof. Yeah, I, um, but in that situation, it's just like, you know, I don't know if her representation is good enough. To pay attention to stuff that Nike might be doing like that. Like, they've been in this forever. Well, no individual is ever going to be able to challenge a corporation from a lawyer standpoint. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm pretty sure they've looked at everything to say, all right, there shouldn't be any more Kobe's coming out to retail. Like, yet, I keep seeing... that's the thing. Maybe not to retail, but like you were saying, those EYBLs, that's not retail. Oh, just handing them out. The 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 pairs that go to EYBL are made for the uh, basketball team. Oh, you're right. They don't come to us. Mm. Some of them do get eventually, like, they let them retail, but I mean, most of them are just for that. Them joints will be on StockX. It's like donated, you know? They don't go to StockX, eBay. (laughs) Oh, yeah, they (laughs) will be there for sure. Put my bid in, $180. Uh, all right. <laughs> Put my, yeah, <laughs> my retail bid. Some oh, bites. by the way, you were talking about these earlier. I just want to, fam, uh, you see the price? Yes! I put them on, what? clean them wow. out. 930 <laughs> I guess I got the greatest S- dunk, special SB dunk of all time. <laughs> I only got two. So, two, three now? However many I got. Them joints are crazy, dude. Them joints. See, so you know what? That's why I say van. That's ridiculous. That's not of even. Of course it is. Yeah, but. But like, you thought it was ridiculous no, no, no. what I paid. Them joints. No, 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 no. More, more. It is. 
Three hundred is ridiculous. No, no, but it's three hundred. If you d- can't ever resell it for three hundred, then sure. But if you can get your money back, even if you wear it, <laughs> it shouldn't even come to that. It shouldn't even double a dunk with a regular Nike box, an extra pair of laces, no tech for nine hundred. Damn, them joints are more than Michael Jordan sneakers. All right, <laughs> <laughs> like Michael Jordan himself. <laughs> 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 You could probably get a pair of DB eights. I mean DB fours for around you know thirteen eleven right now. Like come on, that's nine hundred. <laughs> Chill out. If anybody paid nine hundred dollars for a low top sneaker too, come on man, I would never pay that much for a low top, and I only wear. I would prefer to wear low tops. Crap, yeah, that's, too, that's that's crazy. What's the Chicago low going for? Six. Chicago Low Jordan Chicago 1. Chicago Low Jordan 1. Oh, the SB that yeah. I have? No, no, no. No, the SB. Just I mean, sorry. Yeah. The Jordan OG. 1 OG Chicago 1. 600? Let's see. Them joints are, are endorsed by Michael Jeffrey Jordan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Them Syracuse dunks. Endorsed. Them joints didn't even endorse by Syracuse. Them joints just orange and white. <laughs> 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 they don't got no Syracuse logo, no special box, no Syracuse town. No I mean, they gym, are still no be true to your school. Don't do that. They're don't still true to your school. Boheim. Don't do that. No McIntyre. They ain't got nothing. No uh, Carmelo Anthony. Oh, 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 <laughs> insignia. That, none of that. Oh, they're the same price. <laughs> they're that high, too? Oh my God! I mean, I could understand the Jordans. Nine, I can understand because that. The, like, and if eight, you look at any Jordan Chicago, they're right. all crazy right now. That's an eight and a half for fifteen hundred. Wow! <laughs> See, you know what? You know why I can't? I got take this that? shoe for ninety dollars. Maybe, why, maybe not even ninety. That's why it might no, have been eighty-five. Cheaper than that. <laughs> it might have been cheaper than eighty-five. That's why I can't accept that. It's like when me and George we used to go to the dealer store and buy polos for like five dollars. I yeah. can't if I see a polo for six dollars, I'm like <laughs> because I know what we paid. <laughs> Seeing that for a thousand, knowing we could have paid like seventy five dollars is insane. They actually did. They were trying to get me to buy it. I was like, nah, I'm good. I had already bought two shadows, I had bought two breads, I had bought two royals, and that was it. And then when those came in, when they were like, yo, these I was like, nah, I'm good. B, I don't need these. And I didn't like Chicago's at the time. See, I like Chicago. These are I've never liked Chicago highs. Well, I never I like Black Chicago's. Toes were the only ones that I could bear. I never cared for Chicago's. What? Never. Oh, okay, man. so even we, to this day, I don't think I would care. So for we Chicago know this highs. is not the price when it comes out. It'll be less. But look, this is the price of the one that comes out this year. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, that's the this year? Yes. That's, that's more money than the one from the other year. Eight fifty. No, no. Well, it depends yeah. on the size. Well, My size, size is over a thousand. I saw a four five five something. Eight for now. I don't think anyone's paying eight fifty. There's no sales, color. but still. Like the high top ones aren't even going for that much. The ones that we should have copped are those right there like all those vachetta we could have we, we should have we, we could have like two them joints yeah they said everywhere but now they're four hundred dollars uh you wanna pay that bill i wanna 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 pay some bills in here b sure oh yeah it's on my phone i thought it was on a piece of paper <laughs> damn next time print it out i forgot it's a weird did thing. you know 85 percent of people who play daily fantasy sports lose is it really that surprising? The game is rigged against you. You're playing against thousands of other lineups, not to mention experts who have more tools and more time. You don't stand a chance. Introducing Stat Hero, the first ever daily fantasy sports book that puts the player in control and winning within reach. Here's how it works. Stat Hero shows you the lineups and dares you to beat them. It's you versus the house in a head-to-head fantasy matchup. Your name, you name your stakes, excuse me. Winner take all. You have the advantage. Stat Hero is showing you their lineups ahead of time. No one else does that. Gregory. What? It says ad lib. Uh, <laughs> you said you had a story to tell. I was at the end. I was going to bring it well, up. Well, you can ad lib more than once. Look, I didn't, first of all, when we first was you know talking to Stat Hero, I didn't understand it because that's typically your realm of stuff like that. But I went on Stat Hero today and I was like, okay, let me go ahead and take a look. So it shows the lineups. So, so like... For the day. Yeah. So, like, they had, um, so let me look what the lineup was today. So, they had Kawhi Leonard, because today Utah Clippers Jazz tonight. Okay. They had Kawhi Leonard. Oh, game one tonight. Game one. They had Kawhi Leonard. Anyone out? Or do no. we know? Okay. No one's hurt. So, they let you pick an MVP, too, for, like, the next game okay. for tomorrow. So, it was, like, Kawhi Leonard. They had Paul George. They had, actually, maybe they didn't. It was the Jazz. I can't remember. The, the lineup is on there right now. But, like, so I was like, all right, well, let me go in here and set my lineup to see. So, like, it would say the points, like, they're going to average, like, 153.9, whatever, that lineup, including their MVP. And then I could get on there and make my lineup. So I had picked, like, 
Paul George. I had picked, you know, uh, Reggie Jackson. My MVP, I picked like um, uh, uh, Middleton for the Bucks. Cause I think he's gonna have a big game tomorrow. I think he's gonna have a really big game tomorrow. And it showed my point against that. So like you're playing against the house right. of like their lineup, and like if my lineup does better than that one, then I get paid. You have to stay under a certain amount, like salary cap or something, or how does it work exactly? I think you have to stay under a amount. I didn't okay, get right. into it too deep, but like, you know, I was in there looking, I was like, dang, I didn't put any money on it, but like, I liked how it was set up, so I was like, I'm definitely going to try to play it. Um, but, so you can like, basically like, yeah, I mean, they, they picked the best players for that, the house. Sure. Like, it was already set up for the best, but all the players, and considering how the playoffs has been gone, they haven't been balling. Like, it yeah. isn't like Kawhi has been balling every single time. Now, he's had some super big nights. Uh, close enough. Yeah, close enough. Uh, yeah. But, like, you know, picking, like, they had in their MVP, like, their separate one for tomorrow's game was uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo or whatever, and I could have picked Middleton. Giannis has only been averaging, like, what? 18 in the Buck series? Yeah, he ain't been going. Like maybe a little bit less than 18 in the Buck series. So it's like Middleton, I'm like, he go out there and bust some threes. He could go out there and get about 25, 30 and come out there and ball out. And even Reggie Jackson had a ball out game, game seven. He played pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it was like. Him and Marcus Morris both. So playing against the house, like. I was like, ooh, it makes you feel like you got a fair shot at this. And you can win with it three times the money. The, the other thing that helps is they put the lineup in advance. So you know what. Way like, you play, like, think about playing card games or table games in Vegas. Imagine if they put all their cards out on the table beforehand and right. said, here, try to beat it. You know what I mean? So, like, I think, like, before a certain amount of time, like, the lineups, it's locked. Like, you can't now play against it right. or whatever. And it was a $10 buy-in at that time. But I was looking at the lineup at around, like, noon. So I'm like, oh, shoot, I could see everybody they play, had all the lineups of people I could pick and play against. And I was like, dang, that's tight. So, but anyways, go ahead. Uh, what, so in, with Stat Hero, you're in total control. Stat Hero is DFS the way it was meant to be played, one-on-one, you against the house. Play Stat Hero now and change your odds. Go to stathero.com slash sneaker discs. That's S-T-A-T-H-E-R-O dot C-O-M forward slash S-N-E-A-K-E-R-D-I-S-S. Sign up for free, and right now you can get three times back on your first play. 300% match. That's unheard of in the gambling business. Go to stathero.com slash sneaker discs. Stathero.com slash sneaker discs. I do appreciate it, too, because it's like an up-and-coming thing, and it's a different way to play on these apps. Obviously, everybody knows about the big, big ones you see on TV commercials and stuff all the time and all that, but this is like an up-and-coming one by some young cats in, like, Silicon Valley. So I'm excited about it, and I appreciate them. You know, like I said, everybody go try it out, stathero.com slash sneaker diss. And if it's not already legal, at least here in Arizona, it will be soon because everybody knows they just passed a law, the government did, for us to do daily fantasy sports and gambling. So. Oh, yeah. Look, they they got the PJ lineups right here already set up. Oh, you can do golf too. Okay, you can do golf. You can do baseball. Like I was looking at the baseball one, and it had the lineups for the Cubs game, and I was like, man, it could make a lineup against it. It has a uh, hockey too right now for the playoffs. So oh, the games have started. So yeah, the games already started, like, so it's not showing right yeah. now. But so it's only like team sports. It don't. It's not like UFC. Oh, or they got that to, too. Yeah, oh, they got UFC everything. or whatever that well, is, that's boxing like a, or something. That's like a YouTube boxing thing oh, or something, it? I think. But I think they do do have UFC on it as well. I'm not sure. If yeah. not, it might be coming soon. So, but it's a dope looking app, and I like how the app, the app is user friendly, and you can add funds easy. So, shout out to Stat Hero. Yeah, I like the the layout and design on here. So, I want everybody to check it out. I got some homies that listen to the podcast. They gamble, man. Go ahead and check it out. <laughs> Stathero, stathero.com slash sneaker diss. George, what happened to you and eBay? Uh, they did something to you? <laughs> <laughs> so I sold, never again will I do this, but I sold a Xbox X Uh-oh. on eBay. Uh, I think it was like 730. The man sent me an email after he paid. He sent me an email. And he had like 30 feedback, 100%. So, I, mean, I checked his feedback. All the comments were like, I mean, I'm sure you could fake it, but all the comments were like, good buyer, blah, blah, blah. He sent me a message on eBay. Yo, when are you going to ship? Not verbatim, but close enough. I said, I'll probably do it tonight when I get off work or whatever I was saying. I shipped it with signature confirmation and insurance. Got there, signed for by whoever. I don't know if it was like a couple days later, a week later. I get a thing that says... Um, opened a case against you or whatever. Whatever the mm-hmm. language is. 
So I was like, here we go. So I look on there. It says open to case because the buyer does not recognize the transaction. I'm like, fam, you sent me a message saying, when are you shipping? What do you mean you don't recognize the transaction? That's literally like the most cut and dry fraud win for the seller ever. Right. Message him today. Oh, he opened the case through his financial institution. So we have no power in the matter. And that has to go through first. If it was just that money to the side, I would be like, okay, cool. We'll let it play out because it's obviously a win for me. I have $500 in sales that they won't pay out until that's decided. They can't expedite the case because he opened it with his financial institution, not eBay. I was like, no, duh, he opened it with his credit card company because he knows he would fucking lose on eBay. Why would the financial institution get me the win when he's their customer? Of course he's going to win with them. Like, what what are you talking about? So I put all my point, my talking points in there. I said, they only allowed me to upload one screenshot, which was the screenshot showing signature confirmation, signed by whatever, delivered. They didn't allow me to upload the one that had the message that said, when are you going to ship? So, oh, we can't expedite it because it's not through us. But once it's all figured out, then, then we can review it on eBay's end. I said, how is that buyer protection or seller sense. protection? Yeah. It's like you guys can go above and beyond. You don't have to just read the script to your seller. Right. You make money because sellers sell things on your platform and pay you. Oh, no, no, no. They sent me the script like over and over and over again. We can't do anything. It's out of our hands or whatever because he did it with his. I said, no. Clearly, I did my job as a seller. You can take the financial responsibility on as a multi-billion right. dollar corporation right. of fighting him with the company. That's what they I don't do. need to be in this. They could give you the money and then they fight him. Yes, That's it. exactly. Why am I a single customer or whatever seller who has 100% feedback on 400 transactions being punished for a fraud it's clear fraud. The guy sent me a message and said, when are you shipping? And right. then a couple of days later, after he gets it, he files a thing. Clear fraud. Clear as day. Oh, that's just the rules. Da, da, da. Like, why do you have just the same script answer for everything? You can go above and beyond for certain customers you know are in the right. Oh, no, we can't do it. So that's my biggest problem is. So how you're, you- you're going to get your money, though. I don't, no matter well, what. I don't know. I, who knows? They said they can't do anything until the case is decided. And what if that case going against me means that I'm not protected by eBay? So, like, if they say he wins, I then that's no, it? I have no idea. No, they said they can review seller protection after the decision is made. But we can't expedite it. We don't know how long it's going to take. And I can't get paid out until I either do $730 in sales or more. So I have $500 in sales from like the last three, four days right now that I can't get paid out for because it's below $730. They have a hold on $729.99. Okay. So I can't get paid out for that until I go beyond $730 and then the case is decided. And it's still in like the first step of being decided on the website and they only allow me to upload one picture. See, that's why I just can't mess with eBay, man. I just can't. It doesn't matter. Look. We've been using eBay forever. I know you've used eBay. We've all sure. used eBay. We've all used eBay many times. I never had that problem, though. And see, yeah, that's crazy. Like, I was on eBay when you had to pay with a, a, a money order. Yeah. There was no PayPal, nothing. Like, yeah. you had to hope you got your stuff. Like, I go to Circle K, can I get a money order, please? $28 yeah. and send it in the mail, that right? Was, that was high school. <laughs> Heck yeah. So, like, in these situations, I've been an eBay customer since 2001. I looked on there. That's I, when I registered. I hate this type of stuff because you know we were doing some stuff with eBay, and that had nothing to do with that. But I hate when like these brands get like or businesses they get bigger and bigger. eBay's been huge forever, and like they can't keep up with the demand or understand like things that seem like they 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 seem oblivious to things that go on in society. Like that right there is a clear fraud. Like, and that's been happening forever. Like, yeah. this isn't like the first time Andy sends us stuff all the time. We all have, I have tons of emails from people like, fam, these is fake, me, you know, some nonsense or right. whatever. And I'm just sick and tired of, like you said, it's the responsibility of it. That's why I will never have it. No matter Amazon's political party, Amazon, I've, I would never have a problem with Amazon because it don't matter what it is. You'll be like, yo, this is weird. Yeah, customer. <laughs> you be like, yo, this, this is weird. This ain't what they're like, yo, you want to money back now or later? I'd be like, uh, sure now. Any big account. 
Are you like, you want the product back? Nah, you go ahead and keep it. Like, I've sent stuff, went to UPS, and I'm like, here you go. I'll take a receipt. Money comes to my account immediately. Like, it's like as soon as it got scanned at UPS or whatever, money come back. I can't, I haven't sold on eBay. I couldn't even tell you the last time I haven't sold on eBay because I'm so terrified of stuff like that happening. I don't care about authentication and protection. It never works out that way. Like it, it. Everybody's luck has been so bad on eBay lately. I won't even do it. That right there, I'm not even attempting now. I have no desire to sell on eBay whatsoever. I sold None. a couple pairs of shoes on eBay, uh, like earlier this year, and I mean, I have nothing like that. See, I wonder if rare. that authentication thing clears you like it does with like. Stuff. StockX and GOAT, whereas yeah, like once it gets the there and they stuff, clear yeah, it, they, they then only, it's on they, them. They only do the authentication um, if you sell it for over $200. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Certain pairs. It's yeah. a certain amount. No, it's, it's over $200. I think it's over $100. Any, anything, no, it's $200. Anything, oh, okay. anything over $200, they, they automatically do it. But if it's below $200. So you $200, ship it to eBay. Yeah, yeah. and it has to be brand new. Yeah, and brand it has new to be over two hundred. No, is it brand new? It's brand new. But I know. Oh, wait, wait. I, I know it's no, over two hundred dollars. No, it's, no, not, no, it's not brand sure. new. Yeah, it's over two hundred. Because I mean, see, we were know. doing eBay stuff. I thought it was a hundred, but I don't know. We, either way, like that type of situation. Either way, even with that, I get emails and DMs from people all the time. Hey, fam, I know y'all was doing some eBay stuff. Yo, my stuff has been <laughs> been been authenticated for about three months. Be like, oh and, yeah, I'm a fan, and I, and I hate that because when we come on here and represent something. People think it has something to do with us. You right. know what I mean? They'd be like, hey, B, you, uh, yeah. y'all know somebody at GOAT, son? Like, you know, I'd be like, <laughs> no, nah, man, we just read a, you know, did a little iPhone. Hey, you know, real quick, I know it ain't your thing, but, uh, uh, you got this. That's why I appreciate Shoe MGK, the shoe cleaner, because, like, cats is getting their stuff like yeah. that, you know? Whatever, man. I can't do it. That right there it adds to the t- a fear of selling eBay. I can't do it whatsoever. I have a lot of used sneakers, and I don't sell. I'll never like sell that. electronics on there ever again. Cards, there's really not another marketplace for it. I mean, there are, but you have to actually ship your cards somewhere else, and then they take care of it for you. I'm not trying to go through all that. I've seen people actually video themselves put it in the box. Yeah, I video, used to do that. Do all that, and but still if they only allow, yeah, if they only allow one picture uploaded. And and it says in the description, upload a picture of this of the delivery confirmation. Like that's really not the most important picture. The most important picture is him sending me a message saying, When are you shipping? Right. And then he claims fraud. Like, and if his fraud was item not as described, I then I would at least understand like the case getting started and be and having to wait. His claim was he didn't recognize the transaction. Which I don't even know like, what that huh? means. You s- like, he's well, like, like yeah. there was fraud on his credit card or something. Well, yeah. Like, like how is there fraud on your credit card if you messaging me saying, right. when are you shipping? <laughs> like, clearly you knew you bought it. Well, that's why he went through his... Uh, yeah, his exactly. Because he knew it was an immediate yeah, automatic like, uh, uh, yeah, L eBay. Wait, wait, all and you, you know have what? to do is just tell him that, hey, I got... This is this wasn't me on this transaction. Yeah. And, it'll and just, they'll have his back. I don't card, think I even knew... I didn't even think I knew that, like, if you did it with the bank, that, like, it notifies Neither did I. eBay. Neither I had did never I. heard that. That was the first time hearing that. That's why I was like, yeah, wait I a minute. I mean, I'm sure the bank wants their money back, but I, but neither right. did I. It never occurred but to me that would happen. I didn't know if I went to, like, my credit union, it was like, hey, they'd stop eBay, notify eBay, PayPal, whatever it went through, and be like, yo, hold that real quick. George is tripping. Like, I don't, like... I can't. I will never sell eBay anymore. I can't. I, I I buy. I always buy. I've I've done chat with them twice where it's been like someone. Oh, then and there's another thing too that dealing with them that's absolutely ridiculous. But like, I've done chat twice where at some point after like two or three answers, the chat person is just like they don't offer like yo we'll call you back or yo can I get you to a supervisor? No, their thing is just like well I've helped you all I can. I'm gonna end the chat now. You shouldn't, as a company, have that attitude for anything. You exist because we allow you to exist. If you treated everyone like that, you wouldn't be a company anymore. So, I mean, yes, eBay, I mean, it's the only marketplace for certain items, and it gets you the most eyeballs, so I get it. But the fact that you just have a script and no, and nothing on a, outside the playbook that you can adjust to for, like, your good customers. All right. It makes absolutely, absolutely no sense to me. The fact that I can't get my 500 because you're holding this other clear fraud $730 is absolutely ridiculous to me. I can't. You can literally say, oh, yeah, let me get a supervisor. We'll release that 500 for you right now. And then we could just if you if you end up owing this back, you can pay us back later. I mean, getting someone on like getting somebody on the phone, like an actual person 
from eBay is like next to impossible. Yeah, I like, did. It's, it's, it's someone insane. called me the other day, and by no means I'm not trying to make this sound like you know, I'm against international people or whatever, but I couldn't even understand what the person was saying. So oh, it's yeah. like that's always. Why would I rather? talk to someone I can barely understand right. as opposed to chat. And I mean, I don't know if they do it on purpose. I'm sure the labor is cheaper in whatever country they're people they're using. But like, if the person on the other end of the phone can't even understand what I'm saying and can't get the message to me correctly, what's but the that's point? That's everything, though. Like, I the phone, that, the phone <laughs> Yeah, yes. That, right? But those other companies <laughs> will help you, though. That's it. the difference. Right. Like even you. Goat, when I Goat lost my shoe in their warehouse, next day I was refunded. Yeah, I, I next day they were like, "Yeah, we'll let you know if we find the shoe." Next day, refund into my account. You know what I hate like the most when I do get somebody on the Go phone. Go took the L. <laughs> That's what eBay should do. You're a multi. You almost a trillion dollar corporation. A trillion. You should take right. the L With the T. and or <laughs> like the fact that they're punishing individual sellers for seven hundred and thirty dollars, which means way more to me than it does to eBay. <laughs> Y'all can deal with Wells Fargo or whoever the bank is or credit card. Give me my money. I have 100% feedback. In the last three months, I probably have 400 transactions. Who, what do you think I'm, I'm defrauding people when I paid for insurance and signature confirmation? That came out of my pocket. I did it for 730 free shipping. So you thinking I'm frauding someone when I paid for signature confirmation and insurance? Come on, man. So like you yeah, might not get the sense. Xbox back or the money. Well, I'm definitely not getting the Xbox back. I'm no, sure that's, right. that's done. Yeah. Uh, oh, so the money, I think I will because they were like, uh, after the case is decided, then we have our own seller protection case we can review or whatever. Which that's a, yeah, ridiculous whatever. that you can't go around it at this point. Like, you know, but so, that's not the point. The point is, I have right. proof that it's fraud, and I have five hundred dollars pending, and you won't go. You won't do like one thing outside the script to help your customers. It's like you would rather the fraudster win because he, he if he gets his money back he wins first why should the fraudster win first before right. the person who sold it makes no sense oh, that's it for me I, I just can't I've thought about like yeah I got some of these joints I want to sling eBay would probably be the spot oh no I'll never sell electronics on there ever again I'll never sell anything on there I don't want the to fact even... that StockX has all that stuff on their website yes I might make 50 less I mean because that's why I sold it on eBay I think right. I made more than the actual selling price on StockX when See, it happened, but it's worth it's, it's worth, worth the, hassle. the StockX. It's, it's it's always worth the StockX to me. Like I don't care how people how I feel about StockX, and I'm 100 positive StockX have gotten over on plenty Stock, of people. StockX's prices though be crazy, man. Like, like on certain stuff, it's just like, bro, come on. I don't like, understand some of that stuff yeah. sometimes, <laughs> like, but come on, man. you know what? Hey, I haven't I haven't had any bad luck yet with StockX or anybody else on like my stuff been lost or can't find some whatever it goes straight to the Tempe location and I'm yeah. good like anyways y'all like the LeBron 19s I, those are cool I mean I'm I, I don't know about that colorway well, but, the, but the shoe itself isn't terrible it looks a lot better than the 18 that's for sure the Big Bang colorway or which one there's they showed more, two. Is there more than one? They showed us. They the showed. One. So today they okay. showed a silver one and an orange one. Like I only if you saw swipe, an orange one. And they show like the what models now? Eighteen. They show no, like this a, is nineteen. No, like this new one's a nineteen, but the one that's oh, out yeah, now eighteen. 18. Yeah. So they showed eighteen. I got I got some Space Jam eighteens too. I like the outsole. The outsole or like the midsole outsole is interesting. I mean, the shoe itself looks better than the eighteen. To oh yeah. I don't no, think they've made a good like, one since. Oh, I didn't even see the second one. Yeah. What was that on Nice Kicks? It's on Nice Kicks. God, I ain't dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't hate it more than eBay. I, 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 like, the, I like the silver one. Nice eBay kicks. is number one on the list now. It's nice Kicks. Close. Nice Kicks put up which one's better, Omni or Kai? I'm like, y'all really put this on Nice Kicks? It's the <laughs> same <laughs> damn or thing. Or Omni, Omni, no, yeah. whatever his name is. Yeah, so like, here's the entire collection <laughs> of Space Jam. Like, 18, there's three 18. So those, both those shoes are for Space Jam? All these are, but those two are the, like that orange one is the one the he's LeBron's wearing in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But all those other LeBron. Oh, they got lows too. Or, or is yeah. that a different model? It's a different model. The 18. Oh, okay. those, those uh, look, this, based off pictures, because we are doing top 10 sneakers, we. Is that writing? Our on, okay, so the writing's no, not that's on the just shoe. Him. That's yeah, he wrote, wrote that. All right. But like, we're doing top 10 sneakers that changed our opinion once we saw them in hand. In pictures. Is that the name of what the monster. They weren't called the Goon Squad before. Weren't they just called the Monstars? The Monstars. Yeah, okay, the this Monstars. What is this? Now. Fam. What? I mean, you can't play the Monstars twice. <laughs> I mean, I've, are they still Toon Squad? But 
Yeah. So oh, okay. it's the Toon Squad versus the Goon Squad? Like that? I mean, I think oh, it's, I don't I think guess. it was Toon Squad spelled like that. I think it was like actual like Toon. Now it's like Toon, like Toon your radio. Jeez. No, maybe it was always Toon. I don't think so. No, I think it, it was it like was Cartoon. T- it was yeah. T-O-O-N. Was it? Yes. I think so. Are you sure? It I mean, had to why be. Why wouldn't it be? It I was like. Yeah, maybe. Man, that was back in like in the car- more cartoons. <laughs> but. But what do you, but what do you mean you can, you can play the monsters again? They just figure out a different way to get bet to steal someone's they special aliens, stuff they don't or whatever. Age. They supposed to come back. I can't wait. They for just that got movie. different. I mean, you can't do the same now. script. Like you could have like the Toon Squad lose at first and then get them back at the end or something. Or you could I have can't them play wait a to either love like a, the movie or hate it's it. It's gonna uh, suck because ours didn't suck. age well whatsoever. Our space Jam. Listen, no, it absolutely it did, did not. not. Now All is right. Bill Murray in the movie? Because if Bill Murray and like some of them other people who was in Part One they aren't in the movie, it, it's gonna suck. LeBron, I mean, is, LeBron is corny, so I expect it to suck. Relax. I mean, not, he I actually mean, he, he actually did well in that. What was it? Train he Rick? was okay. Like Train the one, oh, I the, hated that movie. Yeah, that's the Amari. No, yeah, I'm, movie. I'm saying. Yeah, he did pretty good in the movie. He, he, he did pretty good. He, 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 he had some good. funny lines in the movie. Okay. It was just like he did pretty for good his, for his. Okay, that was like his first like movie. Yeah, joke. And he was. I was like, and okay. he had a pretty big role. He was the best friend. Wasn't yeah, he was like the the dude's homeboy. Yeah. Now, once the movie became about Amari Stein, I was like, damn, this entire movie is about Amari Stein. I don't know why you think that. The entire movie was about Amari. Stoudemire. The pl- okay, maybe Entire maybe plot. the final plot point was about him. That doesn't mean the whole movie's about Amari. Movie he, was, it wasn't so even, he was in like two scenes. It wasn't even remotely funny in that movie. Nothing was funny. Andy Schumer, no, her, Amy Bill Schumer? Hader, and her are Amy funny Schumer, together. Yeah, they're that, funny together. I, and I have no idea why you think. We, actually, I need your opinion on this. I don't know why you think what's her name is not funny because I you watch them clips from um, This Is Forty, fam. What's This Is Forty? The the like second follow up to like uh, ver- um, forty year version or whatever. Oh yeah, I saw I, I've seen it. This Who's is. the star of it? I think it is. Who's the star? No, knocked up. Not forty year version. Knocked up. Paul knocked Rudd and what's her name? Was hilarious. So I understand that. And this is forty is good too. Yeah, she's in that movie is like one of her like early funny roles in the principal's I think office. She's funny. You said she's not funny. No, you and Ricardo agree on that. We no, no, no. I was talking about her. Amy Schumer. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, I don't know her name, but I'm not her. I was talking about a uh, McCarthy lady. That's who I'm talking about. Melissa McCarthy? Yes. She ain't funny. Oh, uh, you tripping. She's amusing. No, you tripping. She's like she. She. It, de- well, it depends on the. It movie. depends. No, no. You, no you most most of the time, she's pretty funny though. I can't front. She. Hey. she Thank you. She's, she's amusing. She be, she, no, no. I like the uh, LeBron 19s. I think they're good. I think yeah. it's one of the better LeBron 19s in what. 15 years? So <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the last LeBron that I really, well, the last one I thought I was. a lot of LeBrons. Um, there were a lot that were okay. The 16 to me wasn't bad. Was like that bad. first colorway that came out. Was the, that um, the ones that. um The black and red one. It was called, they be. called it like the fresh breads or something like that. Like those, those were cool. Oh, I, I need to see. Those. I need to see more colorways. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't hate that, that orange. Listen. No, the black and red pair. The, uh, only it black, was red, only the Tiffany, black and red. I don't care what joint. color them joints. Those are black and red black. Ones was tough. Um, and I see them right here. Which one? That? Yeah, those, no. those were tough. It's not bad, but no. No, it's all right. That I like cover, that. I hated how the tongue was like inverted, bent. And oh, you talking about the model? No, that shit was yeah. good. That's the best one since it's okay. 10, 12, 11. The, fi- the 15s weren't bad either, though. That's the super high one? Was I can't remember by the numbers. No, Anything this after one, like this one nine okay. or ten, this, this one was okay. That's all right. Actually, you know what? All, right. all have, LeBrons are a pair of those. All too. LeBrons are actually okay. No, I don't think all of them. Nah, no, they're just no, boots. No. The 13s were trash. The 14s were meh. Let me see. Um, 13s. Oh yeah, 13s are trash. I need to see oh, more colorways in that shoe. Were trash. And listen to you. You were like, they're all right. Um, and then you. Oh yeah, these 14s trash. The 12s, they were definitely trash. The 11s were, they were okay. 15s is the one that you had the Kith ones. Them was I. Right. Yeah, the 15s are, do, are cool. I 12s. Got, I got let me see 12s. Those. Oh, no, no, Trash. 12. I had 12s. Remember, I got them 12s. Look at these. Hold on, George. Let me go back. Look at these. Remember, I couldn't wait to get my hands on them. Oh, yeah, those suck. <laughs> I uh, couldn't wait. I got no, it was good. okay. Yeah. <laughs> but then it was whack. The, the 11s were hit or miss. It was a couple of those that were decent. Let me see. The Miami Night 11s were cool. Uh, um, it was such a... No, that's Strong the, that's, shoe. No, nah, the Miami Night color. They wore those to build the Eiffel Tower. The I mean the Carbon Empire Fire State ones, Building. Those were cool. The low top elevens were cool too. These was I. Right. These was okay. The tens, yeah, I like. These liked was I. Right. 
the nines, the nines. Nines are one of the, the, best, the ones. best ones. Like, it's not even a question. Nah, the best ones ever? Ooh. Like, ever? Uh, just one of my favorites. Sevens. Uh, the sevens. The sevens. The sevens are the one of my favorites. Zoom ones. Generations. Sevens. The sevens, the I ones. Think, eight, I think the eight, eight. I think eight. eight. And nines. I think are eights fire. are the best one. Fam, I was me. wearing this model. We had to go pick up other man's. My jeans was sitting. My jeans yeah. was sitting perfect Stop on them it. joints. Stop it. I had you cannons. Didn't like, you didn't like the twos? Stop it. Heck no. Why don't people like LeBron twos? The LeBron twos. If you like the first ones, you got to like the second What's one. The it's one? pretty similar. LeBron twos were built for no. four F-150 no, drivers. That was the LeBron 5. What's the one with the strap? The, the cool custodian at school that used to let you uh, sneak out and no, say, No, that was Hi. The, the LeBron 5s that looked like, <laughs> they looked like Timberlands for the court. No. The joints look like oh, yeah, the two was all right. Yeah, the what? Two, the it's two all right. Was dope. It's all right. This, this joint was so it, clunky. It's all right. No, they're actually Compared not, to some oh of the other stuff he gosh, released after that? Dude, those, are, one of those, those are like the same. They're actually slimmer than the than the ones because I have that color. Are weight. you crazy? Slimmer than Zoom Generations? Yeah. No way. I have Zoom Generations. Then let me. Nah. I, I, I will I will take a comparison picture for you tonight nah. and send it to you. LeBron, you LeBron 3s are right, all right, but it, it, it got to be no like I have way. both. He okay. thinks 2s are slimmer the twos than these? Are, uh, are slimmer or about no the same way. thing. You have to see them next week. No, no way, the Jose. Three, the 3s are that, bigger. Well, Look you're saying that. that because that silhouette looks sleeker. That's why. We it's don't know if it's wider. The 3s are bigger. Okay, if y'all about to measure it with like measuring tape. No, the one that looks like a boot is a 4. Hey, LeBron no. 3s are underrated. Yeah, that's a phone, though. I mean, yeah, it looks like a boot, LeBron though. LeBron 3s. The 5, the five looks these like These are underrated, boot. too. LeBron 3s are underrated. No, LeBron 5s look like they shouldn't exist. They <laughs> suck. That's Let what they see. look like. LeBron 5. Oh, yeah. They don't even look like LeBron. They look like witnesses. Honestly, this shoe right here, I, I think this shoe sucks for me, but this was like the perfect LeBron shoe. He should have worn have, that forever. I have a pair of those. It's that like literally color. perfect to oh. his like Damn, playing style have, and, have, and I size. Those, I have those, the chalks, and then I have the graffiti pair of that, yeah. that model. Like th Those were decent Damn, for real. You out here. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> for you got mean? Anything, <laughs> that's for someone who's 6'8", not for me. Uh, it, well, I mean, you, you do and wear the a size sevens? 12, so that's, I, I wear, I, 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 I wear, <laughs> what do you wear? A, a 10 and a half, 11. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, so it's different. Just, yeah, I mean. And the sevens have to be the right colorway to look fire, because some, like these LA fireway colorway looks like spats. All right, those, that don't look fire. Trash. I, I, it looks like reverse spats. The, don't do that. The Dunkman <laughs> sevens were the dopest ones to, to me. Look, some, like the these, dunk, the dunk like, Man okay, look, all, star, all stars, nah. all stars fire. Yeah, all, all stars, stars are fire. fire. All stars are fire. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like the colorway Red matters. Carpets. Even the Laker one, the media day, it's no, fire it's because it's reversed. Red carpets. Fire the Christmas, dunk, but that black, fire. but that black, the, white, and red spats. I, I have those. Trash. I have those. Those are decent. I like <laughs> nah. it. Spats. If That's it what I'm saying. Patent leather, it wouldn't be that bad. The nah, white, but the, but the red dunk, carpets because it's reversed. The white on the bottom, fire. The That's dunk, what I'm saying. Like if you reverse the best it, one though. Yo, how much? But which one is that? Red carpets going for? Because I got the, the, the all black one with the neon, <laughs> the neon green so on cheap. the bubbles. MVPs, fire. Yeah, because they're white. Nah, they ain't white. You smoking? Fairfax, those are okay. You smoking? Fairfax blacks, whack. Yeah, because it has black on the. It's black, all black. I understand the that, but the toe box too, part is black. It's like all black with the lime green sole and the see. lime green. The bubble. greatest LeBron Ooh, seven of all see. time Dunk are Man's. red carpets. Not even a question. <laughs> oh, uh, Akron's or whatever the white midnight navy fire because the white's on the toe box part. That's what I'm saying. Like it depends on the color blocking. I mean, I have. The I red remember carpets. seeing those like them, at. Man, uh, they Man's had those line. at. I think at House. Well, no, when I was in LA at House Hoops Beverly Hills, I think that shoe was there because I remember like Akron specifically in my head for some reason you didn't cop <laughs> joints a boot well they had the uh they had that other model of the seven that was like the playoff model that didn't have the air bubble in it oh and like it, the um, witnesses no they were they were like the lebron seven ps's or something and it was basically like a, a seven it just didn't have a it was a zoom yes, air instead of air maxes you're not talking about these are you no, they're all they're oh, all black. Oh yeah, yeah they're and they, all they black had patent the leather green. one, they had a patent leather one, but the sole was just solid. It was no air bubble. Yeah, yeah no yeah. air bubble. He they, wore those they in had, the playoffs. They had I the forgot Concord what those were called. Yeah, the Concord ones. Black and red ones. I forgot what them was called. Speaking of Concords, that's my favorite Kobe colorway, Concord Four. It was one of the first colorways that came out because it was like the one he wore like away or home Lakers. Concord. It's just white, black, and purple. Oh, the inlines. 
in line, but yeah, yeah they called it Concord too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was my favorite colorway. I'll be the gym, of like the early colorways. And white. But type I, t- but type in what he said, not Concord. My it probably, in line probably first, come up either way. Right. Oh, you talking about this? Kobe yeah, those, Four yeah, is those are the joints. Kobe the color blocking four. is good, but I don't like the shiny toe. I just on every oh, shoe I, like I don't like shiny toe. Yeah, Man, I don't like, Kobe I like Fours leather. are so. Whack You smoke You're bugging like, I'm okay yeah. with them bugging. Nah like, I'm okay with them Like whack is strong But they don't even compare To Kobe 5's Not look, even close just look, See look at these prices That's my size Look at what that's going for Is that what you're wearing? Yeah That's, this, ri- that's ridiculous This that's shoe is absolute it's, fire It's crazy No that colorway is fire But the Kobe 4 No that shoe is fire Wait what? Yeah th- look at the price oh, of, yeah. and, and my size What that's going for <laughs> This twelve thousand dollars, like, like that's it's not that's better. Nuts. It's the same thing. It's inline's better. It's not better that color block than that. No, it's not even close. The it's shoe is the better. Same. The shoe is better. This they, color block they is twins. better. No, it's not. Uh, I, 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 I like the same. They went better. to the same school. Don't I look. Do I like the purple. Shoot, the inline Kobe Seven might be better than both of them. You smoke. Look at that. You that's smoke. not inline. That's the Supremes. Wow. Look, man. Kobe, Kobe God. Kobe Seven Supremes. Y'all cop gap jackets from Kobe? Yeah. No, I mean from Yeezy. Yeah, they got no. them gap jackets. So. Nah, I'm good. They're still available this morning. Obviously, oh, well, it's pre-order, no. so I don't think it matters. Uh, pre-order sell out normally. Yeah, but it's made things. out of recyclable goods. So I think they have like <laughs> the uh, picture of him wearing that jacket is one of the worst pictures I've ever seen in my entire life. Kanye did in any aspect. Kanye is still first of all paying two hundred dollars at the Gap is insane. They used that no stuff one, that cost that much. No, and you just no, 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 no they no, did not. No, wait, no, look, no, they wait, 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 wait. Let me. Fit. They had plenty of stuff that cost that much. We just didn't pay it because we knew it would go on sale. No, they did. Didn't. The highest yes, they, they did. No, the highest they did was like 150 for Japanese denim jeans. That was the highest on those. Fam. 200? It's I'm, a jacket. Jackets are always more expensive. Fam, no jacket at the Gap has ever been $200. Huh? I guarantee you, you I, go back and look how much stuff has. Find me one. Leather jackets or stuff like that. Yeah, I ain't I never sold you. leather jackets at Gap. Yes, they have. What are you talking about? Leather is out of Gap's plethora of. Material range. <laughs> <laughs> he had to find I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting for him. to get that one out. Yeah. Yeah. You smoking? Huh? You think I they never had never, another two I will never that ever. That jacket is for actual years. astronauts. No. Huh? That jacket. That's what I hate about Kanye. Kanye makes clothes that he likes and think we should wear. That jacket is built for yeah. people with no spinal cord. Like that jacket is <laughs> weird. No huh? Spinal cord. Oh no. I saw I, the email. I was I like, can't. I was the the, the that, alerts. I was like, oh shoot, I, gap. I was like this. That jacket is for motor. I never mm-hmm. could get into his clues, like any of his clues. I mean, the basic stuff is fine. It's just too expensive. I'm... Like, like when he first came out with the clues, and it, that was like the new wave. Everyone's like walking around looking homeless. Ho- shirts, yeah. Super yeah, I don't like the stuff with holes in it. But, the... but when you just like, got basic on, stuff, man. like the basic stuff that Pharrell did with Adidas, fire. It's too expensive. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not paying no for the yeah. all black T-shirt. Similar, I'm not yeah, that, that's yeah. ridiculous. That's yeah. no, and uh, a lot of that did go on sale though. Like, oh yeah, I'm sure a lot of boutique well, spots. I'm paying for it. I mean, I was like, oh know. shoot, twenty seven dollars for a solid pink shirt. <laughs> Only had extra small left. Well, for real, like he, when the I was hoodies in high and school, sweats were fine. You know, because for real is from you know from where I'm from. Oh yeah, from VA. So he was doing the you know the whole bape thing back then, and it was like everybody wanted it because of him. Oh, of course. And then Lil Wayne started wearing it, and then it was just went to another level, and it was just like, come on. A man. lot of people like to give Wayne credit for bape more than I feel like he deserved. I feel like nah, he wore real, it more for consistent, but for real, I don't care what nobody yeah, says. For real, like, was wearing it first. Like I was only in the bape billionaires boys club and all that stuff. Because because of Pharrell, Nego, Neptunes, because I'm just a huge Neptunes and Pharrell fan. Like, everything Pharrell I always listen to. Now, Lil Wayne came through, was the hottest rapper in the game for that block of time. So he's wearing it consistently. It just looks like the dopest stuff ever. But, no, stop it. It was Pharrell. His, Pharrell's Adidas... Like his his fame didn't follow him to Adidas like that. Like, a lot of people Ooh. didn't... I mean, the people were buying it and stuff, but it was... It's different now. Than I don't how it know. Was. Okay, I don't know if it was Pharrell that was selling it more than the model. So, like, I feel like a reverse from the topic we talked about last week. Kanye sold us on Yeezys. It was him that sold us on that. Pharrell didn't sell, you know, because a lot of them Kanye stuff. It was a good point. We probably wouldn't have liked a lot of that stuff if it had just came out. Like if if Adidas was like, "Yo, here's our new fly knit." Boost. It wasn't a Yeezy. We might not have cared for it. Kanye sold the masses. Yeah. Kanye sure. sold his line. Pharrell didn't sell his line to me. Pharrell's line was just different at the time. He came out with the the what four basic five colors: the yeah. black, red, green, yellow, blue, orange, 
the NMDs, the human race NMDs, and the OGs of that model. So that model at the time was like, ooh, this is different from the Ultra Boost and it's different from the regular NMDs. Speaking of NMDs, do you see they retro that the original, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah. original black prime knit one? George has all those. Blue on them. Yeah, they bought that back recently. The yeah, OG like colorway, the OG prime knit. Yeah. I still have the one. I still have not the first release, but whenever they first retroed it, I bought that one because it was like. I mean, I don't know if it's sat, but like it, it was retail. Like I'm sure retail. it's sitting now. Because yeah. well, yeah. <laughs> because when it first came out, all the NMD stuff flew. Like I, oh man, yeah, they would. I remember there were some it. colorways I had in the cart immediately, and I could have checked out, and I was like, eh. And then they're four hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Or four right. fifty. I was like shooting myself. That, that, that OG I, colorway went crazy when it came. Yeah, I think we could. I think we could say that. That was. I like that point. What? Like I would say, Travis Scott. Then sell us on his sneakers. They're Jordans. They're some the of the Jordan One. They're some of the greatest Jordans the, the, and the Air Jordan, Max the, One. Like, I say the Jordan One is like the most hype Jordan out right now. Well, so it's like, of course, when yeah. he drops a Jordan One, everybody's he had, gonna buy it. He had a one. He had a, a four. He has an Air Max One coming out. He has two Air Force Ones. Those Air Max Ones are trash. He has no. Don't do that. <laughs> Enjoy this fire. They don't suck. do that. The no, they don't. In, no, they the, don't. In the pictures, that's, that's <laughs> another one. That's another that's one another you see one in hand. That might have to see in hand. Because when he was wearing them at that Nets game, them joints look fire no, on the court. No, yeah. no, oh, yeah, they did. No, they now, the lacing being hidden in the thing, I don't like invisible lacing like that. Fam. The lace hole should be on the outside. Fam. I hate that Fam. on the indoor. Don't Fam. do that. Them joints just fire. Fam. All right, we'll Fam. see. Yeah, You'll we'll be like, ooh, I need them. Watch. All right. Man. Definitely not. I mean, I have some Travis Scott shoes, but I mean, I, that won't be one <laughs> that I'm getting. Everything. I, <laughs> that won't be one that I'm getting. Oh, Travis didn't sell Jordan. And all that. He didn't sell his sneakers. Those are Nikes. Them was just dope sneakers. Same with the dunks. Kanye it's a, it's a dunk. definitely sold his lines. You could argue some of that stuff is whack. You could. I like it, but you could argue it. And Pharrell definitely didn't sell his stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think Pharrell could sell stuff like that. Like, he makes cool. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, this stuff always goes on sale, so. It always goes on sale. <laughs> all right, y'all want to do our list so we can get out of here? Let's do our list and get out of here. All right. I got all my mentions, too. I don't know about y'all. I have one that needs to be mentioned, but and it probably should be on the list, but... You got mineral mentions? Uh, it just needs no. to be mentioned in general because it is so... Well, <laughs> so, we are doing top 10 sneakers that changed our opinion once we've seen them in hand. My list us. might be trash, but I don't know. It can't be because there's so many that did that for me. Well, that technically, like, we're not doing top 10. So it's not 10. It's, it's 10 just, that change opinion, but five good, five bad. Right. So I do have a fruit I'm going to mention. I have some I'm going to mention for good and bad. Jordan 1 Satin. Now, look, I still think those are for girls, but when I saw them in person at Flight Club, them joints were fire. The yeah. bread, that, sh that something about that shine on them, I was like, oh, I gotta, I got to agree with that one. Those, those definitely look a lot better in hand than Ooh. they do in the pictures. Um, Kith uh, Air Maestro Pippins. I mean, you know I couldn't wait for them to drop. I was like, oh, my God, Maestro's and a Kith collaboration. <laughs> Got them in hand. Some joints looked like accordions. Some joints looked like, <laughs> them joints looked like actual guns. They were so like a, a giant L. I was like, this. I'm do this. <laughs> Sold them joints quick. Do you know what I got on here? This I'm going to mention I should have had in there. Those Penny Five Miamis, fam. We couldn't oh. wait to get them Penny Fives. <laughs> Oh, Statue really? of Liberties probably should be. You don't on that like too. those? You like those? The Penny Five Miamis? Fam. Statue of Liberty uh oh, phone. The hyperposite yeah, ones. Those oh, should be on there too. Oh my god. Colorways sold us on a few things. That Miami the shoe was one, okay, but when you got it, it was I, like, I'm the, like the Penny Five. Oh no, the Penny cloaks, Five model the, the was I ability cloak Penny Five the, was my favorite. That's yeah. one that's one that you could say. Might have changed your mind and good because we were there for the oh no Kobe seven cloaks yeah they, they I have took those. it from that those they were took the fire were yeah Do, those and the uh, the penny cloaks I got both but out of those the penny five fire. that cloak was the best one oh but yeah. that Miami we just saw while they were wearing them we we couldn't wait I mean we couldn't wait Georgia bought Miami Lebron tens oh, or whatever no. like oh, no. <laughs> you got them for cheap we got them from a swoosh account them joints is too big to Which be one? that bright yeah color. remember you had miami lebron tens they were boots green and orange joints <laughs> about to look it up oh uh, maybe it was 10 or 11 i don't know which model it was it had to be the but 10. we couldn't wait to get them we got those penny fives in hand some of the worst materials ever in my life now put them on feet from a distance oh he got on my no them joints no 
they actually retroed that um, invisibility clip colorway uh, last year. Oh, they did. yeah, yeah. They, they went did. on clearance. They were like $69 at Foot Locker. 100%. I was like, what? They were. And then last one I got <laughs> for good is Travis Scott. My good honorable mentions, Travis Scott, Dunk SB. Yeah, you had those. You couldn't wait. <laughs> well, you had a Marino jersey <laughs> lined yeah. up. Travis, you don't yeah, like the Travis Ricky Scott Williams. dunks? Oh, no, no. I didn't at first, but in hand, oh my goodness, them dunks are. I, I love mine. That's like fire. my favorite pair of dunks. And then for my honorable these. mentions, bad. I got these are the ones I thought were fire before I touched them in hand. Ultra Boost, nice kicks. The tie dye Woodstocks, them suck. Huh? I don't know what to do with those. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? The Ultra Boost tie dye, nice kicks. The Which Woodstocks, one? the white ones. Them oh ones yeah, black ones suck too. I thought you were talking about the first NMD. No, <laughs> what, man? Well, well, I mean, that's I, a great, that's I, a great I, NMD of all time. I don't know where you were going with that. Uh, number, another one I got, I got Air Jordan 11 72 tens. I, when pictures came out of 72 tens, I was like, oh, black with the red. I thought that's fire. See, I was, I, was the, I was opposite. Like, I didn't like them when I first saw pictures, and then when I saw it in hand, no, I was in like, hand, hey, awful. Bad. Oh, no, the pen, no. In hand, awful. But on feet, when I see them, they look fire. Um, and then I got gel light. Diamond Supply, July 5, Diamond Supply. So we couldn't wait to get our hands on those. They sucked. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for my honorable mentions for those good and bad. Anybody else got honorable mentions? Yeah. What I'm you got? writing something down right now. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, I would say honorable. Well, I say honorable mention because I'll, I'll say this could be could be on both of mine. Would be oh. uh, phone posits. When okay. phone posits came out back in 97, I was like, what, 11? Right. And I thought they were like the weirdest looking shit ever and then when i saw it in person i was like yo i was like those are actually kind of cool i was like i want those i thought about putting some phones on my list but i thought about putting though. i thought about putting newer newer phones on there like there's oh, like, like man. The fish scales i thought i see pictures of the fish like, suck, but i saw them in hand i was like these are oh the gone yeah. fishings yeah yeah I, the I, gone fishing had to get them i was like i didn't like those either until i saw <laughs> I it in the like, store and i was like Ooh. i saw them at chic i was like these are hype bro. Uh, these joints like, is high clean uh, right now joints is fire mm. what else you got nothing else um let me see there's a lot of phones that uh, you can put on that the, list the further i go the more i think about it i got more <laughs> Probably something that should be on the list, honestly. We're about to save them for another one because you can put a lot of stuff. There's a lot of foams that like I'll even say the camo ones. We had the white camo and the, oh, the fighter and the jets. fighter jets. I got those. I thought those suck. I saw, but we got them in hand. I was like, these ain't too bad. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know if I can wear these, but these ones are fire. I got, I got a Nike shirt that's like black, and then it has like the Nike <laughs> on the front is like the black, red, and white camo mm. to match the shoes. I, I, I didn't even know those. they had a shirt. I didn't like the um, I didn't like the green one. Though. So the green was the best. I, one. I thought the green one was like, oh, that's that looked dope. When I saw it in person, I think the Nike swoosh on the side kind of threw it off for me. I <laughs> it was did like, a little I, bit. I'm like, I don't know. I didn't really care for like the one. neon green accents it had mm -hmm. on it too. Like yeah, I didn't really I didn't care for like those. That. What else you got? Oh, what you got? Um, these so good the, or bad? These should probably be on my list because I just thought of them right now, and they probably should be on the list because it's it, it's. Oh, I wrote them on the wrong side. Um, <laughs> KD5 video games, fuzzy oh, TVs yeah. or whatever. Those definitely should be yeah. KD5 in general. KD5 in pretty general. Pretty much every colorway. We, we On the bad list. We thought they might be tight, and we got them. We were Bam. still high off fours. Yeah. And then the five came out. And the first colorway of five was that like hot pink DC colorway first. And then it oh, was like- mumble sauce or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> and we thought they was fire. Man, I remember I had bought a pair that was like considered the Nerf. I wore them joys to the gym. Like, you know what? I'm stuck with these. I'm going to wear them to the gym and hoop. <laughs> Which one? The silver one? It was silver. I have those, yeah. Fam, I hooped in them joys, twisted my ankle 19 times. I was like, this is the worst basketball shoe of all I time. I just don't <laughs> like how the... Um I don't like how the tongue is like made into the shoe <laughs> the, the on the top of your foot. I don't it's like, like how the, the toe box tight. went like this. Ah, yeah. And that video game one, oh my. We bought that entire Christmas pack. <laughs> that might be one of the worst Christmas packs of all time. No, that's uh, Kobe 8. Kobe 8 what? That's Kobe 8. Uh, 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 that was a back? Christmas pack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What was the LeBron in that pack? The big the, red one. It was, eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that no, was no, right. no, not eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 10, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was... Um, oh, the cutting jades. Yeah, seven. Cutting jades. No, no, no. KD4 it was, was a with... a red one. KD, they had a red one. KD4, KD4 was, was with, Kobe, with Kobe 7. Oh, no, no, no. At, yeah. KD4, it was Kobe 7. Oh, okay. yeah. And then and LeBron 9, I think. Or LeBron, yeah, LeBron 9, 10. LeBron 9, 9. Okay. Because that then, was the Galaxy pack. Was and the then, four set Kobe yeah, yeah. seven KD four LeBron? Oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. same year yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah okay. And then the next year was ugly sweater looked Another like fuzzy TV games. or whatever yeah games. whatever. 
And then Katie or um, Kobe had the ugly sweaters. Kobe had the eights that we got, and they're fire. LeBron well, had you can't the, remember? Jades, the green ones. You can't remember what the Kobe 8? Yeah, yeah. Oh. the stained glass. It was fire. Yeah. It's, so, uh, but he came up with two Christmas shells. Yeah, he them. had that shitty that, sneak one. Yeah. And then, yeah. Oh, I don't count that. LeBron. LeBron <laughs> I don't either. I said LeBron had the green joints, though, the cutting jades. But was that the, considered the Christmas one? Yeah. Oh. Well, he had. No, he had a, he red, had a one. red one. No, yeah, no, it, it was red because I had red. Yeah, we had that one, too. Well, he had both. He had a green one and a red one. Yeah, the green one was the very, I think the green one, the cutting jade was the very first colorway to come out in that LeBron model. Yeah, this is because the, it came in a special box and it had the. This Jade is the LeBron piece. Christmas right here. I had it. Yeah, we had that. Oh, one. I thought it did the green one. Yeah. yeah. Now the cutting Jade came out first. Yeah, we had that one. Because I, I think the Jade the, was the first was colorway. The very first colorway was the Jade. No, and no, no. Then, no. The and then the best first, one was was the, the very first colorway. No, the very first colorway was like King's Crown. No, was that was the second one. That was the oh, one I was just about to say. And that's the most fire one of all of them. But I it, it only the, came uh, out like one place. I got the pressure. The the they're like all black with the chrome swoosh and the red mid oh, the clear about. bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had the Nike Plus thing where you, yeah, I got those. That one came in a ten, tennis ball colorway too. Like a bright volt. Oh, that volt joint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My boy Chris had those. I was like, Jesus, man. Um, all right, so KD5 video games or fuzzy TVs or whatever they're supposed to be called, they suck. And <laughs> SB High Krampus. I thought that shit was gonna be fine. <laughs> Now, now, know. granted, uh, why you thought now, that? granted, because it's, it's in a different red. era than I now. Be yeah, too, and I didn't no, like it. a different era. Well, yeah, I sold it quick, but a different <laughs> era, and I never wore it. It was DS. A different era than now, where you can get release dates and see everything in a million pictures and people wearing it on foot. That came out when you didn't know really what on foot was gonna look like. Fans. We had enough suck. because I was literally by his side every step of the way, and I said, "Do not buy us D. I I did not understand out of all the dunks George had and could get and got, I did not understand that. And he hated any shoe that had hair, the horse hair, oh, like yeah. the fur. He hated all of them, but that one, he was like, "Are you out of your mind, you crazy?" I think I bought it like just. Yeah, I was at his house like, when it came in. Spike Gregory. I went to his house. That joint looked like actual Krampus. It was like, get, <laughs> like get. The this out of here. This Authentic. Shoe is, this shoe is scary. Authentic. Right. And the only other one I have, and it's it's brand new, so it probably shouldn't supersede this, but the level of whack it is compared to the pictures, it deserves to be on here, and that's ALD 1300 pack. The green one specifically. I thought about putting that Fan. on there. Oh, my God. You want to talk about the worst Kith filter of all time. <laughs> Number one. Did we do Kith filter list? Number one. <laughs> that's a good top tier Kith filter list. Number one. Period. It can't be number one. Yeah. Not for kid filters. Yes. Not even close. Oh, yes. There's some ASICs. Fam. There's some ASICs that we've copped. You got to see, see, oh see him You got to see in person, fam. And then on the good list, I got Tom Saxophones because at first when I saw those, I thought they sucked. Oh, Tom Sax? Yeah. yeah. Tom Saxophones. First time I, I saw too. them, they suck balls. Now, I still fire. think they suck, but well, like they're do, just but such an easy shoe to wear. It looks so cool it's, now. It's fire. And then, fire. And then Turbo Green Ones. And the only reason I say that is because I sold my pair. Why did I sell? I got to have a retail. What's wrong with me? <laughs> now, I'm not putting it on there because I thought it was going to be bad. I'm putting right. it on there just because I was like, eh, and then I sold it. Why I didn't thought I about it? some shoes. I thought about that. What's wrong with me? Some I thought about that I never thought was whack, but then I was like, hmm, like Cool Gray 4s. I never thought they was like whack, but then like it wasn't until... Not last year. Yeah, before. but you knew at least what Cool Gray Fours look like. Right. That's a retro. Man, I, like, I love my Cool Gray Fours, man. Oh, I love them now. I went and bought them. I bought a used pair with somebody because well, I was I had like, the, it's um, fire. I had the originals from 04 and I wore those up until the retro came out, and then I bought a new pair. I was like, I, those. That's probably one of my favorite fours. This cat got every those, those, He owns Foot Locker. No, yeah, no. that might be your finish line. <laughs> yeah, we got dunks. Oh, no, no, no not we. Uh, they have, they have dunks at the finish line. All right, who want to go? You want to go first? I'm gonna go first. This is my good list. All right, I got five under my good list. This is pairs that I saw pictures of on the internet, saw stuff ahead of time, and thought they was one of the worst things they ever seen. Saw them in hand, fire. No order. Union fours, clearly. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want. <laughs> oh, no order. I was like, you better put yeah, that yeah. number one. No, no, no order. I don't have any order. I want Union 4s now, okay? Just because I haven't seen anybody rock them bad. Every person that I know on the internet that owns them makes them look good. Everyone, tongue down, tongue up, all girls that wear them make them look fire. Their feet are tiny. All, all guys. I haven't seen a guy on social media that has them I thought they looked bad on. Now, wearing shorts with them is a risk, 
But I've seen some good stuff with them. I'm not a big fan of those. Who in hand? You see my hand? Yeah. Woo! That that sway, how it's like lipped the, over the top. The oh my god! I've seen the black pair up uh, close. Um, the next one I got is Adidas Wave Runner. The was that seven hundred? Yeah, seven hundred. I mean, come on! Like the, we saw those, we couldn't believe it. Only person I liked those was, was was Simple. Shout out to Simple. Simple was like that. Are great. I think I ever seen my life. Me and George was like, you're out of your mind. I seen somebody wearing them in person at Comedy Live. I was like, man, look at this geek. I was like, Ooh, them shoes is fire. <laughs> it looks fire. Yeah, that was that that was one of mine too. Like I didn't I didn't like those when I first saw them. But then when I saw him on feet, yeah, I was like, they was actually like, don't look that bad. Hey, uh, this one, this one is a brand new one that came out this year. And look, I said when I went to California, it could have been the sun. But when I seen that cat wearing Jordan One about J Balvin's or whatever, oh, I God, thought those stop. are disgusting. Stop it. I thought they were disgusting. I saw this cat wearing them. Now look, we was at a private beach and the sun was glistening and the ocean was waving. Don't do that. It could have been the ambiance. Don't do but that. them joints on foot. That and it, he was wearing all black and he had like a, a fedora on. Them joints look fired. Don't do that. And I didn't know the midsole was like a blush pink. Them colors, how they layer to the blush pink, fire. Don't you can't do even that. tell me. Don't do you that. You can't even tell me. Yes, I can. You can't I've tell me that. Yes, I can. And I don't. Nah. I still yes, I can. You I see somebody wide wearing them on foot. He wasn't wearing a fedora. You're, and he wasn't about to be. You're an insane person. One. But I mean, he. he. <laughs> uh, the next one I got is Nike Waffle Racer Off White. It's the like low one with the little spikes on the bottom of it. I didn't think nothing of it until Blanc came to the podcast and was wearing them. I was like, oh, I got to cop these joints. <laughs> them joints are fire. I still haven't yet. And he went and bought a pair. But they still affordable. I'm copping those. I, I just, think that's probably I'm lacking on those. more affordable off-white well, shoes. Well, yeah. It's like on the stock, like 160 bucks now. You, yeah, know? It's, it's you might be bad. insane. I'm lacking. I should have been had those. <laughs> um, and then the next one, I got Fear of God ones. Oh. When I saw the pictures and stuff... I was like, oh, come on, man, this can't be serious. But when I saw that I mean, cat wearing, still should feel when that way. I saw that cat wearing them at Legends, the black pair, them joints were fire. Not even a question. Fire. No, yeah, I mean, them joints was fire. Ah, they suck. Fire. That, that, that's 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 my good <laughs> list. My bad list. These are sneakers that we saw and was like, oh, these is fire. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> got him in hand. Some in person, I'm like man, you got to be kidding me, fam. My first one is Kobe A Mamba Curios. Uh, I oh, that's a good one. I jumped on eBay like oh. Just, not the model, the colorway. The colorway. He's right, fam. He's right. Me and Sybil. I had two pairs. He's right. I paid three thirty for. Like oh my god. Well, I wouldn't have paid three thirty. Well, we couldn't wait. Yeah, I no, paid no, because this was like that's what they were going for though. Actually, when was, after they came out, they might have been like three eighty. This yeah. was like. That weird space in sneakers where, like, there were specific ones that you knew were gonna. Psh, I mean, come on. Uh, soccer, cleat, Mamba Curio, Kobe 8. <laughs> I went on eBay. If I had to have them for myself, I wasn't trying to sell them. I, like, I need them. Cut them joints. I couldn't believe how whack they were. I mean, they weren't that whack. Whoa, them joints were super whack. The they fact sucked, that but the they swoosh, weren't like, couldn't believe how whack no, no, they no. were. I mean, I Relax. Just, that simple placement of the swoosh moving from the side to the toe. It changed the shoe dramatically. It wasn't the, the color. The color. was colors were bad. I mean, it was a bit much, but I mean, for me, I, the the reason I was so surprised at that is not because I don't agree. Right. It's because everyone that I know that likes Kobe Eights loves that shoe. What? And I I'm don't just know. Like, why? I mean, I like, could, I don't get it. I'm like, I, I don't. I, I don't couldn't like tell it. you the last time I saw a Mamba Eight Mamba Curio. Like. The name was the Mama Curio. That was yeah, a Mama dope Curio. name, though. Like, that was dope. The Milk Snakes were my favorite ones. I, Ew. What's that, what's that look like? They're like... <laughs> <laughs> milk Snakes? Yeah, they're like red. He they said, look... Uh, like checkerboardish. The, uh, the sulfurs? Yeah. The black and yellow? Oh, it it's was like, the black like and that, white. It's like that same pattern, but it's like red and white. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Those are my favorite ones. Um, the next one I got on here is the Air Max 90 Off-White Desert Ore. I mean, when those nah. pictures came out in person, those... No, nah, they don't suck. Suck and make it a little bit strong. You can't have that suck is strong, but it's they're not as fire as the pictures. <laughs> not at all. If I had to pick a kiss filter, that'd be that'd be in my nah, way. not because higher than an ALD thirteen hundred. Nah, not even. Close. I don't know. I gotta go back and do some research. I, even, I gotta damn. do some research. Hold on, I'm gonna just show you the picture that StockX uses for that shoe. For which one? ALD thirteen hundred green. Is it a good picture or a bad picture? Fam, just wait. Hold on, let me see it. Just wait. And look. I've seen some really bad AOD ones, and I've seen some really good ones on feet from people wearing it. That's why I can't make a decision. Do you remember what the first picture was? Yeah. I mean, of course. I mean, that don't look that bad. Come on. That don't look like a 574. 
But it don't look that bad. Mm -hmm. It ain't vibrant. Yeah. Uh, you vintage. want me to put? You want me to put both pictures together? It's vintage. <laughs> you know what? Uh, it looks vintage. <laughs> it yeah, looks vintage. it's used. Um, my next one I got is in this, and this is why this is on this list because I hadn't wanted another Jordan signature model forever, but the Jordan Thirty Three with the. Hold on, let me see. I mean, of course, they got like a shoehorn in it. Or what the shoe trees Man, on? There's no, uh, mm. there's no the shape is on there at all. Fam, they got a shoehorn in their jam to make the shape go down. That's why we always fall for that. No, no, no. What we, we always fall for that? Yeah. That is literally number one of all time. Of course, nah, nah, nah. Yes, not it is. Close, not even close. There's other ones. I got. I posted pictures. No, no, no. Not even close. Not number one. It agree. Not number one. I mean, it still looks the same. <laughs> that that does is, not look the same. Sidekick should be ashamed of themselves for that picture. Though. You right, but they have to be honest. Somebody ran in that one. My next one, Jordan 33. I came on this podcast. I couldn't wait to get the Jordan 33 because it had that, the pool, the no, no laces. No, no, I no, couldn't no, wait. No. Fam, I was here when they got delivered. I couldn't wait to get them. I opened that box up. I took them out. I was like... Well, okay. I put them on my feet. I couldn't even get my foot in it. Then when I strapped it up, I couldn't even feel my feet. Like I, circulation I tried was a pair gone. one at uh, Foot Locker, and I was like, and those, is this? and so those, cool. and those made my. Like, that's the same thing. Oh, what? And those made my list because it was a Jordan signature shoe I haven't wanted since like. 16, 17. This joint looks like nineteen eighty eight tops bubble gum. That actually looks okay. Uh, that I was better. I spun the shoe number one. This looks like brand new, it ain't number fresh one. suede. Not number this one. looks like you opened a pack of 1986 Fleer and took the gum out. He said Fleer. Not <laughs> number one. My next one I got. Yo, what was the skate shop called? I got the Miami Dunk SBs on here. What was that skate shop called? Um, Zoomies. <laughs> Zoomies. Yes, some Zoomies. No, it's a Tampa skate shop. Me and oh, George. Spot? I don't think they're spots, though. That Miami one was it? I don't remember. Spots Tampa. It was a my it was a Miami Dunk SB that me and George couldn't wait to get our hands on. The toe box had like, was it the toe box or the suede where it looked like water, it looked like clear blue water on it. We got that joint in hand. That joint was one of the worst SBs I ever. That was right there at that very moment when SBs went like this. You know, it was that was the last one for me. <laughs> that one in Concord SBs. I was like, oh, that's it. MIA skate. MIA skate. One of the worst dunks in the history. It had like. Perforated leather. It had suede. It had plastic. It it's had not one of the worst ones ever. One but it of the suck. worst ones ever. Now, it ruined dunks. SB dunks at that period of time. <laughs> I will always stick to that. Those and Concord dunks is what plummeted with the last of dunks. Huh? And Gundams. We didn't talk about it, but Gundams are going to do the exact same yeah, thing. Gundams are trash. Gundams are, are trash. It's terrible. Gundam what? The dunks. Gundam SB dunks. Those pictures. Oh, I you talk about like actual those like those ninety eight Air Max ninety eight Gundams. Like, huh? See, that's a Gundam shoe. You don't gotta actually make the robot on these dunks that's coming out soon. <laughs> um, and my last one I got for the bad, I couldn't wait to get them, and I paid over retail for them, maybe like 50, 60 bucks for them. I wore them too because I was like, you know, maybe I'll put them on feet. They'll look fire. Ferrari fourteens. Uh, ah, red I still ones have up. mine. I, I think I wore those things one time, and there's like. My jeans had like red foot yeah. shit all over the bottom Damn. of them, and I was like, "Yeah." Ferrari fourteen still to this day. When horrible. you look at them, you're like, eh. "But they are horrible." I wore them for the Mayweather fight, and George and Ryan that came to the house. I was wearing a Jordan forty five jersey with Ferrari reds. One of the worst outfits I ever had in my entire life. <laughs> no undershirt, nothing, and the Mitchell and S jersey was too small. Like it was like I want a muscle shirt Jordan jersey. I just found a website you could buy any SB you want for hundred bucks. Okay, thanks. And uh, <laughs> right. Uh, I'm, right. I'm dead, I mean, not to be, but Ferrari 14s. One, <laughs> if a Jordan 14 doesn't have a separated piece toe box, it's whack. Them jokes are super whack. <laughs> you probably right. <laughs> That's my list. Who wants to go next? All right. You want to go next, Eddie? Go yeah, ahead, Eddie. I'll check out. All right. Take it away, Eddie. For the, <laughs> <laughs> for the good, I would say um, Yeezy 350s. Okay. When I first saw pictures of them, I was like, what the hell is this? But then when I saw it up close, I was like, that's not bad. And then I tried it on and then I really liked it. Yeah. You I know, think it was, it, we I said to that too it. before. I think every single Yeezy picture that ever came out was like, what the heck is this? And you're like, ew. And then like, what you get? You're like, oh, God. The, v, the V2 specifically. Yeah. I agree yeah, with that. The V2. V2 is heavy ones. Like all of them. Like it was like, eh. Um. Okay, this is how's it going? This is gonna show my age a little bit. Um, the Kobe ones, the Zoom Kobe ones. 
when they first came out, like I I was just kind of like, what is going on? I was like, it looks like a Hirachi. Yeah. I was I wasn't impressed, and then when I saw it like up close, I was just like, oh, these is actually kind of clean. See, I'm starting to come around to them. I've never liked them because they look they're so heavy. But yeah, Kobe One actually really not that heavy. What? You must got some pro trolls because OG. No, Kobe I got won? OGs. I got a few pairs of OGs. Yeah, them joints are strictly for killing the, ants. Uh, well, I mean. It, <laughs> It's well, you look at the era, and it's like they're really not that heavy. And then you compare it to like something like a phone. Well, yeah, of course. Even the Kobe twos, the Kobe twos are heavier than the Kobe ones. The Kobe twos was just a net. No, that was the three. Oh, Kobe two had the Velcro. Yeah, the was strap. it heavier? Those were heavier. I like. Those. I, have, I have a couple. I was of those okay. They're, those. They're, they're heavier than. You got a couple one. of those too. I do. <laughs> Who has a couple of Kobe twos? <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got a PE. I got the USA colorway, and then I got the uh, the black and yellow one that he wore. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the black and yellow one. Yeah, they're, 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 and those things are heavy. What else you got? <laughs> um, the uh, the Air Max ninety seven one water spoons, the Sean water spoons. Like, oh, okay. I, I didn't like those at first in pictures until I got them in hand, and then I liked them. I can't say I remember the. It was one of the we had the vote on, right? We had the vote on water spoons, right? Yeah. Okay. Did we like them? In the I don't. Thing? I don't. Oh, I know. Air I, Max they voted. Well, they let you vote more than once, so I don't know if I voted for other stuff first and then those are reverse. But I know I voted for those. I I voted for multiple things, but I didn't get access when they said the like we're giving people who voted for it access. I didn't get I mean, access. I still haven't wore mine. I mean, I it's just weird. Like it's, it's like it's a it's everything. a cool shoe in hand. But it's just the color palette on it is just not. Oh, like I think that's what's fire is the color palette. No, it, I've it's, worn it, mine no, like color, three or four times. The color times. palette's dope, but it's just like it's just not something that I would usually wear. So oh, I'm man. just like I'm gonna have to switch up some shit to wear that. I, I didn't, I, you know, I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't I get them, them, and I bought them for resale off eBay for pretty cheap, and then I resold them on eBay for really high. So. Mm-hmm. Gregory's the reseller now, eh? Uh, yeah, all okay. right. Okay. Settle now. You mm-hmm. one of those guys now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I mean, I have um, LeBrons. I have like a few different models of LeBrons that you could say like the LeBron tins. When I saw pictures of those, I didn't like them. I was like, it, it looks like a tugboat because I was used to like the LeBron <laughs> nines. Boat. And I'm like, the LeBron nines I like, but the tins I didn't like them at first the nines i didn't even like at first they had to grow on me oh nines was instant for me i mean it was like the the colorway that did it for me was that miami night colorway when i saw the that black hand, one i was like oh those, no those are clean. well you know what yeah because i made a decision for those and this the and home white because i had bought the white ones and i was like miami nights and the miami the night home, was so the dr- home ones or the free gums which one because it's two white ones. yeah not the free gum ones the free, i had the, the, just the scarf they were called at some point, someone started to call them Scarface. They were oh, just the, black and red. The, but the, the free red gums were fire. Free gums are fire. Yeah, free I gums are like very them. underweighted. I haven't heard that in a long time. Free gums. Yeah, free gums are fire. <laughs> fire. Uh, and then uh, Air Max 270s. Oh, okay. I wasn't a big fan of looking. I wasn't you know, either. Because I've always liked Air Maxes. And when I saw those coming out, I was like, that air bubble looks entirely too big. That I've only you know, really... The Dusty Cactus one was like the first colorway. That was the only one that I was like, okay, yeah, I like these a little bit more. And the all red ones are kind of fire. There's a few colorways that are fire. Yeah, I, I got a couple yeah, pairs. I like, I, I like the React pair the best. The two oh, I have, reacts, I have a, I have a those, couple yeah. pair of those. I, I, I like those. those are I haven't worn them yet. I think it's a little bit too big, but I have a pair of those. You got to get true to size on that one. Yeah, I have a size 10, and it's like, ah, it's kind of big. Do we have those? They're coming out. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Eh. Mm. They're better than the the infrared ninety. They are, way better actually. <laughs> and for dad, I got um, the Yeezy seven fifty. I oh, is that the boot one? The one that looks like a man ug. Yeah. Oh okay. So you like those at first? The pictures, the guy, the guy that had them on in the picture, it actually looked clean with the outfit. Right. And then when I saw them in hand, I was like. Nah, this ain't the this ain't the See, one. See, that one had the reverse effect on me. They grew on me where I was like, a picture I was like, come on, man, this can't be serious. Well, he had on like regular jeans because you know back then they you know people weren't wearing spandex jeans. Right. They were wearing jeans that actually had some room in them. Right. So he had jeans on with it, and it actually didn't look bad, you know, with the jeans. But then when I saw him like in hand, I was like, oh nah, this ain't the one. 
Uh, I was like, I can't mess with that. Um, I would say uh, the Nike Fear of Gods, especially, um, especially like the 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 last ones that came out. The yellow. When they they kind of changed up the design a little bit, because like the first one was like a little. It looked a little bit different. And then they came out uh, with I don't the, know. I they, thought it all looked the same to me. I think it what was like a little bit. Like a, it was like a little higher, maybe on the uh, first one. Or something. It was. A, it was something that was different about it. But I was like, eh, I, so you liked them at first? They looked cool in the pictures. Oh, uh, I and thought then, they were like cool. seeing them on feet. It was just like I don't know if you know they wasn't wearing them right or it was the first time I ever saw them in like up close. It was somebody had them on, and I was just like. Had him all. Like, I was like, that just don't it don't even look right because he had him on with jeans and it was like the jeans covered a lot of the shoe. And right. It just didn't it didn't yeah. <laughs> Yeezy five hundreds. Everybody went nuts over those and I was just like I don't. Is that the one with the feet you wear on the bottom? Yeah. There's like oh the purple one is fire. The, um, the pictures I like the black ones in the picture. I and think then, everyone when, did. When I saw him up close, I was like, they look all faded. And I was yeah, like, oh, remember Rudo? It was like, remember, like they looked like he washed Remember them Rudo brought him to the machine, office? You know? And we was like, oh, yeah. They was like, why? They like sat weird. Like, yeah. I, I mean, they are. Right. The purple ones are nice. That's all I'll say. Uh, Light, purple, pink, whatever they are. Eh. Uh, <laughs> I know people are going to go crazy over this one. Travis Scott Sixes. Oh, you, which which one though? The green one. Oh, I will say, once I got them, I was like, ah. Oh, yeah, because I got a pair, and yeah. I was just like, they look dope in the pictures, but when I got them in hand, I was just like, ah, I'm I had two not of too them. Oh, you could have put uh, what you call it, ninety sevens on there, but what you think they're fire? Ninety seven. Olive mm-hmm. undefeateds. They're, yeah, they're kind of fire. I always thought they were fire. Oh, they're kind of meh. You crazy? Yeah, the Travis Scott sixes yeah. let me down. They, I made some money <laughs> on them though. I, yeah, I, got rid of those quick. I think it was more of like I thought I knew what I was gonna do immediately to wear them, but then I was just like, eh, they okay. Uh. I mean, I like army green, but it yeah, was just like those were just not. I don't know. It just didn't look right. Nah, I didn't. Uh, yeah, they didn't. Nah, the off white Air Max ninety sevens. Oh, which colorway? Or just them in general? No, some of them. Some, 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 some of them are okay, but there, there, there's like that white colorway. one was fired. All the, the white one is all right. I the like Serena white. Williams one. And then that was like the was it the tan colored one? I didn't like the tan one. Was there a tan one? I know there was a the white one. Like, there was a black. The Serena Williams was like rainbow colored gray. I didn't like that one either. That joint was fire. I like that. Might white. been the best one. I like the black one though. The black one was clean. Yeah, you can mess up the black one. Uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> That's it. You'd be surprised. And <laughs> yeah, That's it. That was it. <laughs> Send me a list too, because I need to put it on a video. George, what you got? You doing good or bad first? Uh, we'll do the bad first. Mm. Um, Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, like I said earlier, there were some ones that were on my honorable mentions that could replace these, but. Um, so number five, or well, I don't know. Does it matter? We'll start from the bottom, or you gonna say? Stay, all right. So the, numbers, just the Yeezy Seven Hundred Bright Blue, which is the one that came out oh, after yeah. the yellow one. Yeah. So we were hyping the yellow one. Then the next one came. Yeah. Any I got it with the orange bottoms. I'm just like this. Is too no, much. I don't think it's orange. I think it's oh, orange. Is it? yeah, 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 on the blue. Oh, is it? The it's orange bottom. Orange. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I can't even remember. But anyways, I thought it was actually decent looking. Or was going to be decent looking. Open the box and I was like, oh, what? what is this forest green stripe on here? It, they look nowhere near because I had two wave runners. I sold both of them because I just, for me, I can't pay now. I did pay three fifty for a dunk, or whatever. It's fine, whatever. For the three forty five, whatever it was. But I can't pay three twenty plus tax for that easy. I'm sorry. Nah. Now, if it comes back out at two forty, I'm about caught. It's supposed to come back. But yep, it's coming back that, this year. Bright blue 700 When I opened the box I was like I saw people no. Someone on IG Wearing that blue one And I was like Jordan are you wrong on this No, nah, The picture looked fire Trust me You open the box Trust me Could have been An at home kid fiddler <laughs> It's not possible Number Well whatever The next one The Yeezy Quantum Lifestyle Fam You want to talk <laughs> about <laughs> What you What's wrong with those Oh you want to talk about Some of the chintziest materials yeah, I've ever man, seen On not, a shoe It ain't Lux You know Fam yeah. The, okay. the whole collar thing where they're supposed to say, like, I understand it's the lifestyle version, but it's supposed to be a basketball shoe. There's no way you can play basketball in that shoe. 
No way. Now, if the basketball one is like has some completely 180 degree different materials, okay, whatever, cool. I'll look at it. Mm-hmm. But it's not it's not different material. The uh, the collar on the basketball version just comes up higher. Yeah, and then it has like the TPU plastic on the side instead okay. of just all cloth. Because I have the lifestyle pair. Yeah, 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 we know. There's. <laughs> Cat. Well, you nah. got, oh, you yeah, got yeah, everything. Yeah. So nah, I, mean, everything. I got lucky with those because they, um, you know, a soul fly at Arrowhead. Yeah. Like I went in there and they had a pair sitting in there, tags on them for two hundred bucks, and I was like, "What? Why? That's less than retail." I was like, you know. "Whoa, well, wait, soul fly <laughs> like the same company no, 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 from no. Miami?" No, no, no. Oh, oh no, I thought like, maybe they had like uh, another boutique or yeah, something. No, it's like a resale shop thing. Right? Oh, yeah. Right. I think they do have it in. Um, I think there is like one in Atlanta. Oh, so okay. I mean, it might be the same one. I, I just know it's it ain't the one from Miami though. Not yeah, Miami. that's the one that's like a retail store, but yeah, it's like yeah. a boutique retail store. Yeah, oh, you ain't oh. don't think you getting Russ Pinks or whatever, <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> whatever they sell out there. I'm sure they got some in the back room, like you know, they cats be doing them like hidden finds or whatever oh, stock okay. room finds. No, no, no more. No, no, I'm just saying. Uh, you, you we know Miami, people. Miami, Miami Night Eight story. I'm not worried about people. Warehouse, warehouse. No, 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 no. You were, I'm not you worried were about tales spreading that rumor all over. It's Asia. not a rumor, as far as I know. Oh, okay, you was like, yo, in Miami they got a warehouse full of Miami. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I didn't pull that out of thin air. I read it online somewhere. <laughs> what do y'all think about those Miami Night Eights? Look, the homie James, shout out to James uh, from Texas. He, he did like a little video thing of them joints. Look. Fire in that video. No, they're not for me. Now, pictures, I haven't really thought much about it. I, I just, mean, they came out before. Well, yeah, the first time. Right? That's, like, they that's were, what he's talking about is like the running joke was like there's only 500 pairs from that first release. And they were like I think it was in some man. warehouse or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't like them when they story came out back then. Somewhere. I didn't think they were that tight back yeah, then. No, I don't like yeah, them at I, all. I wasn't a fan. And plus, you them. just couldn't see them often because it was such a small amount. So it wasn't like you ran into them often. I wasn't a big fan of the low top eights. I like oh, the, I, no. I, I like top the, I like the mid tops better. Nah, them I mean, low to tops. me I like both of them. But sprites yeah, and uh, right, the sprites were just red, solar like, red, right, and solar red. Oh my, especially solar reds. You go to a camp out. I mean, we come bought up with solar the red. other colorways because yeah. we didn't have those. Like right. mistakes, <laughs> mistake colorways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next shoe. I don't know how good I thought it was gonna be, but I thought it was gonna be better. The Jordan One OG Biohack, fam, that shoe sucks. No, oh, no, yeah, it sucks. no, it no. sucks. Trust me. It in person sucks. on foot. Have you seen it? And I owned it. <laughs> no. oh, did you put it on your foot and walk outside? No. Exactly. Why would I do that? <laughs> you gotta see it on foot on somebody. No, they are high. I don't. No, I don't. Cause I owned it. I had it in my room for like a year and a half. Or how you long know how stuff I, looks in boxes. I see. The, well, the first time I saw them was on foot. Like when they came out, I went to the mall and there was like twelve people wearing them. <laughs> Like it, it was like every shoe store you went in, it was like every employee was rocking them. They were hey, like, suck. What, what was going smoking. on? They suck. I, I wasn't a huge fan. They're cool, but I'm like, yeah, eh. they I, I like suck. The, the contrast compared of color to with like the brown. when the first picks came out or whatever, they suck. Oh, I thought you were gonna say compared to the dunk, suck. Feet of dunk, no, suck. that sucks. Next <laughs> one, Air Max ninety seven Neon Soul. Like Seoul, the city, Seoul, South Korea, the one that was part oh, of that. Oh, you order. were the only one that loved that. Damn, those. You were the select few people. Oh. I said from I the was, bat, those were awful. That. That's I fine. The, all that entire pack was awful. my list? Every single one. No, that had they did the other 97 without the like, little uh, Don't start with the lacy they stuff. Done. I understand that. But had they done that without Everyone the lace Everyone sucked. Fire. Everyone, as mm. they came out to the public, was whack. <laughs> there was some that were like. Mm. Yeah, exactly. But Neon Souls. When I opened that box, fam, I was like, "Woo!" Wait to those get your hands on suck. those. Suck. Uh, them just don't even neon. Yeah. Uh, they, they, had that <laughs> they are. They're pink. And, it had that, it pink wasn't even and blue or something enough. else. It wasn't even bright enough to be neon. It had that gigantic white swoosh over the the pink stripe and the blue stripe. Them joints didn't look neon whatsoever. I mean, it, it looked like neon color glue. No, fam, there was a white thing with neon colors, colors behind it. Yeah, yeah. Them joints was like pastel. pastel. Them colors. joints was not neon. <laughs> now if they were solar red and sprite blue, whoo, that, okay. that's neon. Look the pictures up. <laughs> you know, I did. Them suck. <laughs> They do. Now, you're confused about what they look like because it's could, definitely no, neon. No. Them joints are not bright. The, neck, the last shoe on the bad list, by far, you could pick either one. Jordan 3 Animal. The, I almost the animal that or one. the reptile one or whatever. <laughs> yeah, those the both, reptile they were, both were the one were the one of the from <laughs> they like were, they were both from terrible. like sample picks to what came out. Fam, worst shoe I've ever seen in my entire life. 
I will agree with that. I almost put that on my list. But when I see the furry animal ones sometimes, I'm like, eh. On foot, I'm like, whatever. But that other reptile. They're both whoa. abominations. I don't know what reptiles. Them <laughs> Good list. Them Mortal Kombat reptiles. <laughs> <laughs> Good list. Um... This isn't on here because I thought it was going to be whack. I just saw the pictures and I was like, oh, yeah, it's okay. But when I got it, I was like, yo, PSG Jordan 4. Fam. Ooh, yeah. Woo! That's a good one. yeah, those are clean. Damn, over. that's a good one. That's a good one. That suede on there is now it's not as good as the suede on threes, but it's good. That's a good one. The other one, the next shoe, the one I sent you a picture of, the Yeezy 350 Ash Blue. Like I'm not I didn't think it was gonna suck before I got it, but then when I got it in person and took it out the box, I was like I really like those. Yo, I, these I, are I wanna way be better than oh, I expected. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I sent you the picture of. Fire. I, I want a, I want a pair of those. There's a lot of them Yeezys that work. Well, my fire. list is kinda easy heavy. Like we've already done two on the bad list and there's two on the good list too. So no, three on the good list. Mm. The next one, Yeezy seven hundred V three clay brown. That's the Yeezy. model that you like. But the clay brown color. I don't like the V3s. Wait, the cayenne what, what ones are, are okay. 700? So is that the blue? A, yeah, it's got that blue color. What model? The, the V3 700. The one you want. The one that's only 200 bucks and doesn't have boost in it. Yeah, but what's V3? The one that huh? looks like. Oh, the yeah. One oh, you, oh, yeah. <laughs> clay brown? Yeah, because that, that was the one that I got. I, I got that one from Adidas. Oh okay Yeah that and one's was not like, too bad you, The it's pictures look bad. terrible But when you got it When I got it in nah. person I was like yo I just love that shoe I gotta get a pair of those Fam I have I, to Trust I like me the Kyanite one. That shoe I gotta get a pair Yeah the Kyanite I like the No no but we too. knew Those were gonna be fire though That's the thing Like yeah, that's why me. The blue one I, I knew I the blue one was fire I saw the picture And I was Not those The first blue This is Kyanite Yeah the Kyanite Oh no I'm talking about The first blue one The newer ones The the I first blue the one first came one out like last year. Just the like, Alavaz? Is that? I don't know what that is. Yeah, mean. this one. Alavaz? So, yeah. yeah. These fire. Oh, this, every one of these colors is fire in I this. Like, I don't care. I like the every single color we We didn't that say that about the brown ones at first. Well, I mean, none of the brown ones, even the 750 Wave Runner, whatever the Wave Runner model, that blackish, faded looking one, we was like, eh. I didn't really think much and about then it. number one by far, obviously. Oh no, sorry, I'm on the last, second to last, second to last. Air Max 90 infrared, the one that came out last year. Like we knew it was infrared, but fam, those, that don't count. Yes, it does. You even said it. Yeah, but you've never not liked it. No, no, but I didn't realize the materials and everything construction was going to be that good. There's something about that shoe. That one's better than the OG, than the original. Like I said, All right, when it first came out, I in made some 89. mistakes on the list. Things I figured out ahead of time, but you know why I said it. I can't even afford that Air Max 90 now. All I right. think it's like 250 now, the OG 90. <laughs> I don't mess with or 90s anymore, but when I saw that 90 in the store, I was like, why is this different? Yeah, like, you're right. Exactly. They, they I tried, upgraded I tried it. tried to tell you forever, too. That's they the did funny sit. Part. They were I tried to tell I think you. they remastered it. I think Jordan remastered those. I, I, well, now you know why it's on the list. Remaster, fam. I bought fam. the neon pair, like the Volt. The, oh, the yeah, yeah. Bolt. See, I thought about buying other colorways just because I didn't buy the Nike Those one. things were at the Nike outlet for $40. That I was count, just like, man. <laughs> Yeah, but you know why it counts. I understand that, but we didn't realize it was going to be that nice. That joint is nice. And number one of all time, by far, is Wave Runner. It's not even close. It, <laughs> it, <laughs> Wave Runner. 100%. If anyone says, besides Simple, says Wave Runner is not number one of all time in terms of seeing Kanye wear it and like in them faraway pictures and then getting in a hand, Pictures I in know. hand. I think it was because of the. Uh, the now I never, style still never put one on my foot. Yeah, so I still don't like know. When you saw it in yeah, pictures. Dash it looked era. like all big and bold. It was like, see, we but knew it, it was the dash shoe era, but like I don't think any of us had any yet. Like, no, nah, never. We didn't I have any have that, have that would qualify that. <laughs> I was more like, man, like, man, your cats got dash shoes on. Y'all even got kids. Like, I was like, I was. Walking around in my Nike Monarchs. Yeah, like, doing, like we man? hadn't Come jumped on. on it yet, but boy, I can, I can, there's no, not even without a shadow of a doubt, me and George destroyed those. Like, I couldn't even believe Simple was saying that. I don't even think Simple, <laughs> Ryan, when he was on the podcast, I don't think he even believed it at the time. He was just trolling us. But then when they came out of some, I was like, okay, this is crazy. Yeah, so just, like, I, I, I saw the picture. And I was just like, it just looked, it just looked weird in the pictures because it just looked like it was too big. Yeah, it, it was, was like when way I saw too it big. up close, I was like, those actually it don't didn't look that big. It didn't have shape either. Yeah. It still kind of doesn't have shape. Like you look at it, it's kind of boxy still, but it's the toe box. Something about the toe box and how it goes up and the laces. That's what's key on these two. It has the 
the lace loop at the bottom, like a V, and mm. the laces go up like that, you'd have to look at it to see what I'm talking about. But them joints are fire. Materials on them was always dope, too. I've never tried on a pair whatsoever in any color. Like, any color. Any yeah, I've never up. had any or worn any. Me neither. I, I, I like the utility black one myself too. The black. I didn't the like. Soul, I, I like didn't those. at first, and then I see them. I'm like, them is alright too. Like, yeah. if, if I was to get a 700, it would be those. Now, see, I want the yellow ones. Black. If they drop, I want the yellow one. Now, no, when no, we had that, just impos- it's just impossible to get. Well, well I saw pictures of those. There was not was many pairs released of those at I all. Haven't seen them. Now that I still haven't seen them in person, but I still I want them. When we had said like, would we wear Yeezys if it wasn't Yeezy? If they had dropped. The V2 Yeezy and said this is the new Ultra Boost, then we might have. Okay, here's the problem with that conversation is like, if Yeezy goes to pay less, we ain't copping pay less. But it's Adidas. We would still cop Adidas. I mean, it's debatable. It just is. It's, it's, it's not like he didn't go to like. We might have eventually. He didn't go to uh, Keds or uh, uh, Pro <laughs> Wings. You know what I mean? Like, he went to Kids. Adidas. Right. You remember those days, the Pro Kids? Heck yeah, he's going to Buster Browns. Dame huh? Dash, man. He bought them. He, oh, I bought Pro Kids. You remember? Oh, it yeah. Like he thought he made the investment. <laughs> he thought, right he, was doing he, it thought he was coming yeah. back. <laughs> uh, Pro Kids. Jude Jude made him a out. Lot. He's made a lot of mistakes. Now he's made a lot of good decisions but he's made a lot of yeah, mistakes yeah, he, they talk about Donald Trump having like fronting like he's a billionaire and ain't got no money Dame Dash might be another one of them cats who like got a lot less money than people think he has oh man it, I remember he was doing you, cribs he, and he, he was disappeared he, he, he never out there he does like art galleries now and some other stuff. I feel like he has a, um, a I media he had, channel. Yeah, I thought he had like a radio. Yeah, he's like, like a radio, radio show or a podcast. He's some. not like how he was though. Like I mean, when yeah, he Rockefeller out was yet. popping. Like he was out. <laughs> See, he, he has to be. He has to be. Some, he has yeah. to be old Dame Dash for anybody to care. Though. But he, uh, yeah, when he was wearing like different T-shirt and different socks every single day, never wore the same style. I was like, okay, well, you. You're wilding, so, and he lived in England. He had like homes in England. And I was like, all right, like this is like in the '90s. Like nobody living in England in the '90s. Like he was a way ahead of the curve. Anyways, I got nothing else. George, appreciate you. Eddie, appreciate you coming to the podcast. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, like I said, man, welcome anytime, man. Like I say, anybody local, man, you local, come to the podcast, post up with us. George, anything else? How's the date this? F you eBay. Pow, pow, pow. Yes. <laughs>